All right, we are live on YouTube as well. How's everybody doing? What's up, D? Andy boy, what's happening? Funko Junko, what's happening? IT Tweety, what's going on? Man, I got what's happening. Poppin' Missouri, welcome, welcome. Jay Klotz, what's happening? We got some sodas tonight. Very, very, very nice sodas tonight. For soda, let's go. You want to do early bird special? We'll do early bird special. This right here is uh, Miguel from Coco. This one is a chase that will be up for auction tonight. But let's drop... Um, let's do... Uh, Let's do one of these Donatellos. So here is, these are all sealed, sealed Donatello. There's the Pog. The Pog is in decent shape. I'd say maybe eight out of ten on the on the Pog. And same on the can as well. Let's start off one of these Donatello sodas. All sodas tonight start at a dollar. So let's do a nice little early bird. Yeah, Miguel. I have a common, I believe, yeah, a common and a chase tonight, Miguel. Exactly. Welcome, welcome, Jared Cook. What's happening? Be like water. What's happening? If there's something you guys want to see, just check out that little tag in the bottom corner right there and let me know if there's something you want me to run. Just tell me to run it. But right now we have a common Donatello. This one is in um, a sealed bag. I'd say it's probably 8 out of 10 for the, the Pog and the can. Yeah, early bird, Funko Junko. Early bird, early bird. For sure. Yeah. Exactly. And we have some of these SPD soda kits also available. For three dollars, it's a little stand and it's a pog holder, so you can display your your pogs that you that you have from the sodas, and it has a little stand that it snaps into, so you can stand it up next to your soda. <clears throat> well, Funko Junko, you came to the right place. What up, Force is strong because we got some pretty dope sodas tonight. Definitely got some good ones. Nice, man of God, taking home the Donatello. Very nice pickup tonight. Like I said, if there's something you guys want me to run, let me know. If there's something you want to see, let me know. And if nothing gets dropped in the chat, I'll just pick something off the table. Yeah, all right, Force is Strong. You want a sealed one? All right, let's do one of these uh, Invictos. So I'm just going to put a – I got a piece of painter's tape. I'm just going to put that on the bottom there. And I'll, uh, I'll, if you guys want me to open it, I'll leave it with the partial seal on it. We can, we'll get it open without having to remove it. But that just lets me know that that was a sealed one. You want me to run the Fawn Chase? You got it. Let me pull it. So like I said, I'll put a, I'll put a little deck over here aside of ones you guys want me to put up there, and we'll, uh, we'll do that. This is one of those Iron Man sodas. Where are we at here? Where's the sealed one at? Um, huh. Weird. All right. Well, let me. Um, there's a sealed one. All right. Awesome. Uh, let's see here. Where are we at? I'll catch up on chat here. <clears throat> the SPD soda kit. You got a green hornet. I'll pull that one. SPD soda kit is basically a way to display your pog that you get. Um, this is, um, this is the shredder one and on the back. You can see the chase stuff, which is kind of cool. And that's a little stand. You snap it into and you just set it next to your figure, which is, uh, like here is a custom Sonic the Hedgehog that I did. It's a metallic one, so that's pretty dope. But like, you could display that, like with your pog next to it, kind of like that. Hey, there he is. There's Bill. Bill's the owner of SPD Soda Kits. Well, 
scared dog, you could uh, you can go check out the website. You could use code Reasonable Twenty and save yourself twenty percent and get your whole collection all done up. Nice. So we have a sealed El Hero in Victo, which is the Iron Man Lucha Librador, Luchador, Lucha Librador. It's like a Labrador, but only it's uh, Iron Man. <laughs> um, but this is a sealed one. So fifteen thousand pieces. I don't know what the distribution of comments this chases on that one, but probably a six. Nice. Scared dog taken home. Run the Fawn Chase. Yes, Fawn Chase is next, and then I got a Green Hornet on deck. Rip it. All right. All right. The common, good sir. Pop that back in there. Back in the bag for you. And I'll leave the uh, plastic wrapping on there for you, too. To protect, that, protect that outside of that can for you. So Nice. All right. Let's get the Fawn Chase on deck. And then I'll catch up on chat. No worries, Scared Dog. You got it. So here's the Fawn Chase. Let's see here. Let's pull that out. Here is the Chase figure right there. And then we got the Pog, 1,600 pieces, teal fawn. And then we have the can, which is in actually mint shape. So it's uh, minty all around. The Pog doesn't have any damage either, which is nice. Sometimes the horns or the head sometimes put little impressions in it, but that one's good. So let's start that one out. At a buck, of course. Now, this one does ship with a free SPD soda kit. So, all chases tonight will ship with a free SPD soda kit. Let me sleeve stack you right. Chili Willy, you got it. So, next up on deck, we got Green Hornet and then Chili Willy. I do have Sonic. I'll put a Sonic on deck. There is Sonic. All right. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so this is the, uh, the what is it called? The Teal Fawn from Pan's Labyrinth. This is the Chase, which is a 1,600-piece Chase. Popping in Missouri, taking up 17. Force is strong, and they're hitting it hard. Nice. And what up, all in your mouth? How you doing? How's everybody doing tonight? Got some really good sodas tonight. We got some convention exclusives. We got some chases. We got some sealed sodas tonight. I got SPD soda kits for sale down in the uh, in the tag section. They are by it now. They're not going to be around long. They've been selling out pretty fast since this got listed. This is what it is. It's a pog holder right there, and it also has a little stand for your pog, so you can model it next to your Soda. Nice. $41 for the Fawn Chase. Next up, we got Green Hornet. If there's a soda you want me to run, uh, check out the tag in the bottom corner. Let me know and I'll run it. If there's a soda that you want me to show you and you just want to check it out, just let me know and I could put it up there and show you and check it out. And if it piques your interest, then uh, then let me know and I'll run it. So we got a couple on deck. I got Green Hornet up next, Chili Willy, and then we have Sonic the Hedgehog. So lots of great sodas tonight especially for you luchador fans. I know there's a lot of those out there. Everyone's loving those luchador pops and sodas. It's luchador madness out there. Green Hornet. Check this one out. Check the condition out of this one. There's the can. 6,000 pieces for this. The Green Hornet. And there he is right back there. I'll check out the figure. Figure looks good. There's no weird scuffs or dings on him. There he is, the green hornet. And there's the back there of him. We'll put him up there. So far, so good. No damage on the can. Pog is mint. 5,000 pieces. Uh, there is no indentations on the pog. So the can, the pog, and the figure are all in great shape. So let's start him. 
I figured I'd at least show you guys. I know the transparency might take a little bit to get it going, but at least you get to see, you know, the condition of the can. Because sometimes the cans aren't perfect. Sometimes there's impressions on the bottom. Sometimes there's dings on the side. We've all gotten it. We know what we know what it, we know what that is. We're gonna start them at a dollar though. Uh, no Cato tonight. I do got a Superman and a Martian Manhunter and some Harley Quinns, and I also have a Martian Manhunter Chase. Let me catch up on the chat here. No, they are not all in your mouth. Sorry. Uh, make those into com. What is that? Yeah, right. Jack Skellington, you got it. Pull one of the jacks. Put him. Oh, put him on the deck there. Quick draw, you got it. Quick draw, McGraw. Another good one. Uh, Batgirl, you want a sealed Batgirl? You got it. Put that on deck. Sonic is right after Chili Willy Funko Junko. Nice. Popping in Missouri, taking the Green Hornet. Very, very nice. Welcome back, Bill. Bill is in the chat. He is the owner of SPD Soda Kits. If you have any questions for Bill, about the SPD soda kits, feel free to ask him in the chat. I'm sure he'd be happy to answer for you. And again, this is what it looks like right here. It's got a uh, little stand on the bottom, which you could take off. And again, you can show off the full pog right there. And again, you could just display this how you will next to your soda. Yeah, same, same. I got a comment in my collection as well. What up, Adrian? How's it going? Her dog, what's happening? What up, Variety Show? How's it going? Just catching up on the chat here. Man of God, yes, we definitely have Quick Draw on the list. Scared Dog, take it on the green, Hornet. Very, very nice. Put him back in the bag for you. Put him back in the can. Very, very nice. Take home on that. All right. And again, if you guys buy any of these soda kits, you guys, I'll just put them included in your order, and you could put whatever... I'll leave your like if you buy the chases tonight. I'm not going to put your chase pogs in the soda kit. You can do that yourself. You're just going to get the kit with your order. Um, like I said, it's not going to be something that I'm going to do. Here's the chili willy. This is a common as well. Here's the can. There is chili willy on the back. There is a little bit of a ding back there on the back of the can. There's a ding right there in the front. You can kind of see maybe. Not to didn't remove any paint or anything like that. And here is the figure. Very, very cool. I dig the stylized nature of these older TV show characters and the Hanna-Barbera characters that they've done. They really go with this like Nick at Night TV, you know, 50s aesthetic that the sodas have. And Chili Willie's like perfect for that. So he stands up good. Uh, Pog itself is in great shape. No damage on the pog, no dings, no indentions on that. 8,400 pieces for this Chili Willy right here. Um, let me get him started, and then we will catch up on chat. Next on deck, we're going to start him at a dollar. Next on deck, we got a Sonic the Hedgehog, then a Jack Skellington, Quick Draw McGraw is next, and then a Sealed Batgirl Soda. If so something you want to see or something you want me to run, let me know and drop it in the chat. Let me catch up here. Yeah, no worries, Bill. You got it. Miguel Chase. I'll put the Miguel Chase aside. Yes. Let's run that chase. All right. What up, big kid? Small toys. How's it going? Great white. Andy Boy, welcome back. Spider Pool, how's it going? Miguel Chase is on deck. Bella Pig, how's it going? Soda Kit. So the Soda Kit is the pog little it's a hard stack basically for the soda pog. And it comes with a little detachable stand that you can rest it in. And it basically displays your pog for you that you can, like, sand next to your soda. It's a nice add-on item. If you're buying something from, something from me tonight, you can basically add this on your order, and it'll, it'll give you a discount on the shipping. Thanks for coming by tonight, Poppin' in Missouri. I appreciate you. Mountain State cards, what's happening? Right now we got a common Chili Willy. This is an 8,400 piece Chili Willy going to going to you. Congratulations. <laughs> I want to butcher your name. Thank you so much. 
put him back in the bag. We'll get the pog, put that back in the can for you. And we got him back in there. Nice. All right, next up we got, I'll catch up with chat as soon as we get Sonic the Hedgehog going. Sonic's got maybe a little ding back there from the inside maybe. Other than that, the can looks great. Bottom's good, top's good. And here's the pog. So we got the, we got the can there. Here is the pog, which does not have any indentions on the top part, as you can see the shine on it. And here's the bottom. And this is a 10,500 piece Sonic the Hedgehog here. I can put that there. And then take them out of the bag for you guys. And here is the common Sonic the Hedgehog right there. Like I said, I'll catch up on chat as soon as we start running this guy. Here's what he looks like. And here's the custom that I actually made. You can actually see the difference. I did a metallic version of this one. You can see the back there, the metallic little difference but that's what the common is the actual chase for this one i think was a flocked one so there is the common right there he'll put him up on the podium we'll start him off at a dollar and then i will catch up on chat there we go uh we're going to start everything tonight at a dollar so great 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 for everyone who is here tonight what up ashley how's it going how's it going scared dog welcome back Nice. Well, fearfully to grab it. Force is strong. What's happening again? Uh, yeah, it was an error. It actually is an error on it. I'm not too sure how many of them are errored or what, but there is definitely an error on the um, Oompa Loompa, the spelling error. Yeah, right. So next up on deck, we got Jack Skellington, Quick Draw McGraw, Batgirl, and then we have our sealed Batgirl, and a Miguel Chase that we're going to be running. If there's something that you guys want to see, let me know. Drop it in the chat. If something you want me to run, let me know. Drop it in the chat. Everything's going to be started tonight for a dollar, and everything's going to be uh, regular, no sudden death. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Ash. That's exactly right. Um, Force is strong is one that actually pointed out to me. I had it in my other auction and I yanked it down. Nice man of God taking the Sonic the Hedgehog common soda. All right, Put him back in his bag. And then we'll get Jack Skellington loaded up and then we will catch up with chat. All right. All right, here is the Jack Skellington can. It's got a little ding here on the side, as you can see. And there is a ding here on the top of the can itself. So, it is a common one. I believe this one is a common one. Yes, this one is a common one, and it is sealed. Here is the, I'll put the can over here. There is the can. That's what he looks like. This one is sealed that I grabbed in his original black bag so pog itself is in great shape doesn't look like there's any dings on the back here or the front uh it's a 16,700 piece soda so i'll put this up here i will start him at a dollar and then we'll catch up on chat let's do that jack skellington come in all right all right. All right. Let's catch up on this chat here. No, it's not fake. It's real. It's just an error. Uh, Zauer, are you have an issue with the stream? Miguel is on deck. He's right after Quick Draw and Batgirl. Yep, exactly. Listen to Burgermeister. He's, uh, he's 100% right. Just close it out and then rejoin it. Should go in there. Secret Squirrel sealed. You got it. So some of these sealed sodas I grabbed from Gemini Collectibles. So there is a chance of chase on them. Um, we got a lot of Hero and Victico or whatever. We have the chase of it too tonight too available. So uh, I have at least, uh, what, nine, ten Hero and Victicos, almost two cases. 
Tim, what's up, Tim? How's it going? Welcome. Nice. Right now we got a Jack Skellington common soda right now on the podium. Again, can definitely not mint, but the figure is sealed in the original bag, and the pog has no damage to it, and it is a 16,700-piece run soda. Yeah, I figured I'd drop up the black, the black light ones for tonight. Welcome back, Mountain State Cards. What's happening? We also have tonight available for a little add-on purchase of some of these SPD soda kits, which is a hard stack protector for your soda pog, and it includes a little stand. Whoops! And it includes a little stand for you to balance your pog next to your soda figure. I dig them. I use them for my photos on Instagram. Nice. Congratulations. Taking home the Jack Skellington. Next up, we got Quick Draw McGraw. Then we got a sealed Batgirl soda. We got Miguel Chase. And then we have a sealed Secret Squirrel coming up. So what I'll do is I'll get the Quick Draw started, and then we'll we'll get uh, catch, up, catch up with chat. There's the Quick Draw right there. Can has no damage on it. It looks like the lid's good, the bottom's good. So, and this quick draw is sealed in his bag. Here is the, here's the pog, which has no damage on the pog, top or bottom. Minty, again, 8,400 pieces on this quick draw McGraw. There is the can. That's what he looks like right there if you want to check him out. I'll leave this soda sealed for you. If there's an open bag, I'll pop out the soda. And show it to you, but if it's a sealed one, we're gonna leave it sealed for you guys. So nice, congratulations, Burgermeister. Grabbing yourself an SPD soda kit. Again, get yourself a little discount on shipping and get as an add-on purchase for yourself. Quick draw. Unless you want me, unless you want me to open the soda for you guys, if you buy it, then we will leave them sealed. All right, one buck for Mr. McGraw. Hey, B Cobb, what's happening? No worries, dude. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you, man. Got some streaming going on with Mr. B Cobb. Just call me D, and I believe Sin is in this one as well. This was from, uh, I believe, March. I believe this video that's on right now. I can't really see. But yeah, welcome, welcome. Let me catch up on chat here. Nice. Yeah, they are dope, right? But right now we got Quick Draw McGraw, the common right now, up on the turnstile. He is sealed in his black bag, minty can and minty pog. Welcome, welcome. If there's something you guys want to see, let me know, and I'll put it in line. Right now we have a sealed Batgirl coming up, a Miguel Chase, and then a secret squirrel. I'm actually going to grab a couple now to toss in here. Put that up there. Let's grab this one. This is a really cool one. Uh, do one of these. Nice. Congratulations. Taking on the quick drama, McGraw. Do I have a Joker? I do not, but I have Harley Quinn. I have two Harley Quinns tonight. Nice. Welcome back. Melon and Poppin, how's it going? All right. Next up we got is a sealed. Let me pull this painter's tape off the top. We'll put that on the bottom. A sealed Batgirl soda. This is a 15,000 piece run. I do have actually a Harley Quinn in, in line, so she's got another couple sodas in front of her. But if you want the Harley, we got the Harley coming up. Yep, that girl sealed. Start her at a dollar. Jack Torrance, you got it. Jack Torrance. What up, Cope Fresh? What's happening, man? Got a Jack Torrance coming up. This is a mint Bat Girl, too, by the way. Um, Welcome back, Tim. I got a Jack Torrance on deck for you, Tim, if you want to check that out. 
Like I said, guys, we have some add-ons tonight. If you make some soda purchases, grab yourself some of these SPD soda kits. It's got a removable base. It's a nice hard stack for your POG. Fully display it next to your soda figures. And also, any chase tonight is going to ship with a free kit. So, And the kit's just going to ship separate with your with your item. I'm not going to put your POG in, in the kit. You do that yourself. No worries, Tim. Yeah, right? I hear you. I don't use them either, Cope. Um, I actually put mine in inside of a nice Bella Pig taking home the Bat Girl. I actually put mine in a Trapper Keeper, and I use them for display purposes because I actually don't have any room either. If I had the room, it would be awesome to have each one in one. All right, next we have the Miguel Chase. This is – I took him out earlier. This is the WonderCon 2021. Pop out the Pog. The can is mint. The bottom is good. The top is good. He's a smaller soda, so there's not going to make much contact with the can. There shouldn't be many damaged Miguel's floating around. But here is the Pog right here, which has this really cool black light look to it. It says Hooded Miguel, and it's a 1,600-piece chase. And there he is with the Day of the Dead skeletal look, which is awesome. And here is the figure itself. You can see the paintwork on the Kadar is really, really cool. It's got some nice artwork on there. And there he is. There is Miguel. Here is the common. If you want to see, there is the common. And again, that is from the movie Coco. So this is WonderCon 2021, Miguel. And I will catch up with chat as soon as we get this guy started. And this Miguel does ship with a free SPD soda kit. So you purchase this tonight, you get a free kit to check out. Let me start this at a dollar. All items tonight start at a dollar. No sudden death. Let me catch up on chat here. Yeah, I put mine in Trapper Keeper for sure. Uh, did he say so? Did the person say they wanted the back or ripped? Nice. S SPD soda kit going home. Very nice. Tim, it exists at HQ. They do fit in the can because my. Um, HR Puff and stuff is actually in a soda kit in the can. Nice. Uh, I don't know. Who bought, who bought the uh, Batgirl? Oh, B Cope Fresh bought the Batgirl. There we go. We'll put this aside right here. As soon as this Miguel is done, we will rip that for you, Cope. Sorry, dude. I, I'm lost in the sauce over here. No worries. Appreciate you. I'm picking that up. Nice. So again, we got the Miguel Chase. This is the Day of the Dead. It is a 1600 piece Miguel from WonderCon 2021. I don't know if we can get that to focus in on that. But this is what the common looks like. And of course, he is hooded. Day of the Dead. Get a free soda kit with this. Nice. Scared dog taking home Miguel Chase. Very nice. Let's put him back in the can, and then I'll rip the Batgirl for Cope. And then we got next on deck, we have a Secret Squirrel, which, like I said, so the sealed sodas either came from Spastic, Gemini. Collectible, let me put this back in this thing, and then we'll get Secret Squirrel out. All right. So we got so many luchador ones. I got a lot of luchador ones from the spastic cases, which is good because it allows me to have some sealed stuff to rip in these things. All right, let's get Batgirl ripping. I'll get the secret squirrel up, and then we'll catch up with chat. Here is the Batgirl. Common, my man. Maybe I'm going to open the bag I can for you, but... I'll put that back in there. I'll leave the wrapping on there as well for you. And like I said, we'll get the secret scroll rolled up, and then I'll start with chat. All right. That painter's tape on the bottom. We got a sealed secret squirrel with no damage on the can. Now, this one is cool because the chase for this one is a flocked and glow. The trench cloak uh, glows, and then everything else is flocked. I do not believe the hat glows. I think it's just the trench coat. But we'll start him up, and then I'll catch up with chat. And get secret pulled up. There we go. I undergraded this one. Um, I have nine out of ten, but it is mint. There's no damage to it. 
a dollar for Mr. Secret Squirrel. Uh, yeah, right. Oh, that's a that's a metallic Sonic that I did a custom of coat. I just had it in the background because I was gonna sh I was showing it with the uh, soda kit. Yeah, D's in the chat. What up? Nice. Guess what? What what's up, Funko Junko? Another Batgirl, you got it, B-Taz. I'll put that in line. Next up, we got Crash Bandicoot, Harley Quinn, a Jack Torrance, and then we have a sealed Batgirl. But right now, we have a sealed Secret Squirrel. Nice. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, beer guy. Uh, right now, we got a secret, secret squirrel sealed on the turnstile. Um, minty can. We also have SPD soda kits available as an add on purchase tonight. They have a removable base, and they also have a nice hard stack way of displaying your pog which I use these in every one of my Instagram photos when I display my sodas and my HR puff and stuff. Pog is in one right now and it's can. So, Hey, mama bear. Welcome. Welcome. The banana man. Welcome. Welcome. EMP. What's happening. Welcome back. Force is strong. We got a sealed secret squirrel going to the banana man. If you want me to rip it, drop it in the chat. If not, I'll ship it to you sealed. Move on to the next one. I'll pull it aside. So here we next we have a Crash Bandicoot. Rip it. Let me rip it before we start the crash. Then here is the Secret Squirrel. I only had one of these in this auction. Uh, this one's going to be one of those ones that is difficult, isn't it? There we go. I'll leave the outer wrapping on for you. Oop, common. Sixty-seven hundred pieces. Still a cool one. I definitely have one in my collection. That is for sure. All right. Put that aside. Next, we have a Crash Bandicoot. Yep. Start at a dollar, and then I'll catch up with chat. No worries. Nice. No worries. Welcome, welcome. Phone call like Josh. We got a famous guy in the house. The original creator of the Joel Pop from The Last of Us. Check out this. We got a twenty-five or twelve thousand five hundred piece Crash Bandicoot from the game Crash Bandicoot. There we go, right there. That's what he looks like. This one is actually opened. The can is mint. Nope. The lid actually does have some dings on it. The can itself, though, is mint, and so is the bottom. Just the lid has a couple dings on it. And then the pog. Pog is mint. Got no damage to the top. And again, this is a 10,500 piece common run. No damage on the bottom. And there is the figure itself. So no damage or paint blemishes or anything like that. He looks super sharp. Would look great next to a copy of his game. For some Instagram photos. I'll catch up on chat here. <laughs> For this one, um, or Flocked, it would be cool if they did Flocked cra Crash Bandicoot. I don't know. The gold one's cool, too, though. Nice. Welcome back, Andy Boy. What's happening? <laughs> well, you created the Joel Pop, man. That's the reason why we have it. They saw your pop and liked it. Yeah, right? Metallic Sonic would have been cool. The Banana Man taking the Crash Bandicoot. Very nice take home tonight. We have one more available. Put the Pog back in there. Next on deck, we have a Harley Quinn from the DC line. But I believe this one is the Birds of Prey one, or I don't know which one this is. Suicide Squad? Actually, Suicide Squad. Harley Quinn. So... Yep, Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn. And there she is right there. 
can itself looks good. Top looks good. So minty can on this Harley Quinn. There's that. Let's put the can up. Here is the pog. Minty on the back and the front. And this one is open. So we'll show you the figure. She is minty as well. And she actually is kind of metallic too, which is kind of weird that the other version of her, the chase is metallic because all the gold is metallic on her. You can see on her cheek it says rotten. Pretty cool uh, soda right here. She stands up good too. And again, this is a 10,500 piece run for this Harley Quinn. And I'll start this up and then we'll catch up with chat. Let me get this going here. Start her at a dollar, like every auction we're doing tonight. Batgirl again, you got it. So another Batgirl. I got two more after. I got two more after this. Batgirl wise, it is a Grail for sure. Manhunter Chase, you got it. Manhunter Chase on deck after the Batgirl. Very very cool. All right, this is. The Chase. Welcome, Jason Funko. How's it going? Dr. Manhattan, welcome, welcome. Melon and Poppin, how's it going? Welcome back. Yeah, we do, don't we? Some Watchmen ones would be dope. Nice. Justin taking the Harley Quinn with the bat. I believe the Chase one is a metallic with a mallet, isn't it? Or no? Yeah, we do need a Swamp Thing soda. Yeah. Exactly. Welcome, welcome, beer guy. Right now we got a Harley Quinn on the turnstile. She is a 10,500 piece run. And she's minty. Mente, mente. You want a flocked and scented Harley Quinn? What would that smell like, Force is Strong? What would that smell like? Describe it to me in the chat. <laughs> Justin taking home the Harley Quinn with Batch. Let me get back in the can, and we'll run the next one, and then I'll catch up on chat. We have one more Harley Quinn available this evening, and if anyone's interested, let me know. We will run it. All right. Next up we have is a Jack Torrance from The Shining. Very, very cool. There is the figure itself. Let me see if this one is this one is opened. So we'll show the figure off. The can. Can is good. It's got a little ding on the on the lid right there. Nothing too serious, but the can looks good. Minty on the can. The lid, like I said, has a little ding in it. So we'll put that on there. Here is the pog right here. And I believe the chase is him frozen. So definitely a totally different figure. If you're not into the chase and frozen, this one is a good figure as well. 10,500 pieces on that. Pog is good on the top and bottom. Here is Jack Torrance from The Shining. See the crazy look in his eye. He is ready to bust through the door. Like I said, we're going to run him and then I'll catch up with chat. Something you guys want to see. Something you want me to run, let me know. Bottom corner, there's a hang tag. Go touch that tag and see what I got available. Let me get Jack going, and then I'll catch up with chat. Jack Torrance. Boom. Start. One dollar tonight. All right. Let's catch up on this chat. The Seattle Fish Market. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, what was it? The one about the NASA connection, the moon landing and stuff, and the the moon room and stuff. Is that what it was? Do you have any DC comic cans? Yes, I do. Yes, yes, I do. I have a Martian Manhunter and a Superman. If you want me to run any of those, let me know. Like I said, the Suicide Squad Harley Quinn is not from the comic; she's from the movie but a cool one nonetheless. 
Right now we got Jack Torrance up there. Greetings. Welcome from Chicago. Appreciate you. Oh, interesting. That'd be an interesting take. No, Superman's not sealed. It's common and it's opened. Tim's collectible is taking the Jack Torrance. Nice pickup there, Tim. Very nice pickup. Like I said, some of the ones, it's like like the Sonic is flocked. So if you want the flocked one over the common, then get it. But like if you want like the common Jack, like having the chase and the common probably would work out, I guess, because they're two different figures. They're, you know. All right. Next, we got a sealed Batgirl right here. All right. On the bottom there. Uh, can itself is mint. Uh, on the lid here, we have two little indentions from, I guess, her horns on her cow. But the bottom looks good as well. So, put that up there on the podium. We'll get it started, and then I'll catch up with chat. Uh, let's do that. Uh, one dollar, one minute. Let me catch up with chat. Uh, yeah, they are, and you don't want to use a lint roller because it'll start to pull up the, the flockage. No, Fernando, sorry, it is not for sale. Yeah, I just put some pops back there for now. Um, maybe next soda auction I'll do a wall of cans or something. I don't know. Yeah, right. I don't know. I'd be honest with you, I really don't. Um, I, I don't, just don't get them dirty, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oogie boogie you got it i'll put it on deck the oogie boogie one's cool because the oogie boogie i think the commons better than the chase the chase is the burlap bag and the, the commons and glow in the dark which is like that should have been the chase you know what i mean yeah right vacuum seal exact under glass is probably best truly truly under glass probably would, would be best for flocked pops or sodas or flocked anything. So right now we have a mint or not mint near mint can. We have two little dings on the top of the can. A sealed Batgirl soda. Yeah, or just leave it in the can. Well, I, you could do that. Yes. I try not to display flocked pops out of box. No. Uh, Funko Junko, close the app out and rejoin. It should, um, there you go. It should reset it. And if it didn't reset it, then close the, the app out completely. Nice, to Appreciate you, Tim. Be looking forward to that sports collab down the road. <clears throat> close the app out completely, Funko Junko, and we will uh, show up good again, hopefully. Yeah, right? Yeah, heck yeah. Wait, what? What does that mean? Take a blue light to it. No, it's still black. Nice. Congratulations, Justin. Very, very nice. Taking on the Batgirl sealed soda. I'll put that off to the side, Justin. If you want me to pop that for you, let me know. We have another sealed Batgirl soda up next. Open it. You got it. Here's another sealed Batgirl with a mint can. Let's see if the top is top does not have any dents from the cowl. I put that on the turnstile and we'll pop open Justin's soda. So I'm just going to open the top like we did the other ones, and I'll leave the uh, the wrap on for you. I'll just pop it like that, just so I can kind of get the lid off, and I'll leave the seal on it for you. Common, my dude. Twelve thousand five hundred pieces on that. I believe the chase on this one is a uh, metallic Batgirl. There she is right there. All right, put that off in the back. Now, we have another sealed Batgirl here on the turnstile. And then next up, we have Martian Manhunter Chase, Oogie Boogie Common. And if you guys want me to run something, let me know. Um, I'm also going to be throwing in one of these Woodsy Owls from, uh, what is this, WonderCon 2021. We'll toss in one of these Woodsy Owls next to in line. That'll be one of my audibles. Let me get this girl started, and then we will catch up on chat. All right. 
Looks like we only have, after this one, we will have two sealed Batgirls left and then three Hero and Victigos sealed left. We got about five sealed sodas left, and then the rest are all going to be commons and then three chases. So let me catch up on chat and see what we got going on. Uh, oh, yeah. Let me see what's going on. Yeah. Let me see what's going on with that, Force of Strong. Yeah, of course. Uh, this one is this one's a common. Here's the pog for that one, Justin. And it is a 12,500 run. The pog looks in good shape. The top has some imprints uh, over her hair. But other than that, it is in good shape. Let's check out. The figure is sealed. The figure is sealed. Um, do I have one up here? Yeah, I do have her, actually. Let me go grab mine, and I'll show you mine, because I have mine right above here. Since that one is sealed, I guess that's the benefit of being a soda collector also. Nice. Tweety, taking home the sealed Batgirl. If you want me to open that, drop it in the chat. This is what she looks like. Um, but like I said, she is sealed in there. I believe she has the same weapon or a different weapon, but she has the white suit in the chase. I'm not sure. But again, this was from WonderCon. This one is sealed. Put that one back in there. And then I'll pull the Batgirl off, and then we could... See if she wants to open that. Open it. You got it. Same weapon, different hair, different suit. Okay, cool. So same thing. I'll, I'll just open the tip here just so I can pop the lid off. And I'll leave the seal still on it for you. Let's see if I can at least open it enough to get the bag out. This is a very tiny common. It's a very tiny soda, actually. 12,500 pieces on this. Next, we have the Martian Manhunter Chase. We're going to pull this one out, and then I'll catch up with chat. All right, straight out the gate. Let's check out the can. Can looks good. No dents on the bottom. No dings on the side, so mint can. No dings on the top, minty top. So we'll put that soda can there. Let's check out the Pog. Pog has no dents or dings on the bottom. And again, this is a 1,600-piece Martian Manhunter. No dings on the top. And again, he's glow in the dark and metallic. They didn't add the metallic in there, but he is metallic. And I'm going to show you how he's metallic in a second. They should have done, just like how they did flocked and glow in the dark for the uh, secret squirrel, they should have done glow in the dark and metallic for the Martian Manhunter. Look at his boots and his cape. I mean, that is all metallic right there. The red is even metallic, a crimson metallic. The gold is metallic. His little underoos, those are blue metallic. And then all the green glows, irradiated. But a metallic glow Martian Manhunter, Chase. Let's put him on the turnstile. Let me get this started at a dollar. And then I'll catch up with chat. Martian Manhunter. There it is. This one ships with a free soda kit. So you are getting a free SPD soda kit with this one. Start at a dollar one minute. Let me catch up with chat. Yeah, exactly. Force is strong. Yeah, right? No sudden death. I don't like doing sudden death on, on stuff like this. Um, you know what I mean? So everyone should have a chance to get in there and, and get their stuff without getting sniped out. This is a cool one, though. Again, glow metallic. They just say glow on the pog, but you saw it was metallic. You saw that it was metallic. And let me show you, too, because I have a common here I can grab down. So here's the cape. You can see that one is definitely metallic and one is definitely not metallic. You can definitely see that all these muted colors on the common are more are metallic on the chase. And again, all the green glows on the chase. And everything is metallic that's painted. I guess it's convenient when you have sodas just chilling. So I can I can do demonstrations like that for you guys. Dr. Manhattan taking the Martian Manhunter. Chase. I'm going to run 
I'm going to run one more, one in between Oogie Boogie, and I'm going to take a short little break. Run one of these. And I'll do a, maybe a three minute one, and I'll go take a break for a second. And I'll be right back. How's everybody doing? Welcome, Mike Collects. How's it going, Justin? Right now on deck, we have a metallic glow Martian Manhunter chase. Yeah, you got sometimes you got to, man. I've been chugging water all day. It's hot over here in Colorado. Sometimes you got to force it strong. You'll hold it down for me, though, won't you? Yes, you will. Nice. Taking home an SPD soda kit. We got some. How many soda kits we got left? Nice. Riley taking home the Martian Manhunter with the SPD soda kit. Very, very nice. Take home on that. Again, metallic glow chase. This is probably one of the sickest glows that they've put out yet because the green, wait till you see the green. Hit it with your UV light, charge it up, check it out. The metallic on the cape is beautiful as well. So you're going to enjoy that. Put that back in the can for you. Get that in there. I'll get the next one loaded up. And I'm going to take a few seconds break. And I'll be right back. Next up we have is one of these Pan Labyrinth Pale Man. Got that droopy flesh. Got that droop droop. Got that drip drip. Minty can. Nothing damaged on the bottom. The top looks good. The can itself is mint. That's what he looks like. And I'm going to put up the can for you to check out as well. Pog is mint. That is the back. It is a 12,000 or 10,500 10, piece. And here is the figure. It's got that droopy, droopy flesh. Uh, I believe the chase has the eyeballs in the hands, but this one just has the red dots. And there is the backside. You can see the buttocks. The butt talks. And next soda auction, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to hook up with SPD soda kits and I'm going to do like maybe 10 packs, 20 packs, and I'll sell some individual ones for you guys too. So you guys have a little bit of variety if you want to like buy a lot for maybe like, you know, enough for all your chases or something. I'm going to hook you up with that. So I'm going to start the pale man off. We're going to do like a, a two minute bid uh, run on this and then we'll, and I'll be right back and I'm going to catch up with chat. So let me. Toss this one up, and I'll do – let's do that. Start it at a buck. All right, Force is Strong. Hold it down for me. Give me a second. All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. I am here. Let me catch up on some chat. Uh, Riley, I sh I'm shipping out tomorrow, so I ship out the next day if I can. I have uh, scheduled pickups every single day, so they just they'll pick them up with the rest of my stuff that I drop off. Yeah, it is. It is a good movie, Force is Strong. 
Welcome back, Bill. How's it going? Bella Pig, how's it going? Mike Collects, what's happening? We have a pale man right now on the turnstile common from Pan's Labyrinth. Um, on deck, we have an Oogie Boogie Glow in the Dark, a Woodsy the Owl, and if there's something else that you want to see, let me know, or I'm going to start pulling stuff and putting them in line. But right now, we have a pale man going for a dollar to the Forces Strong. Take it, getting a soda for a dollar is a good deal. Ooh, look at that glow carnage. Ooh, look at that black light carnage. That's what's up. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, let's run one of these. Nice. Force is strong. Taking home the pale man from Pan's Labyrinth. For a buck. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of people maybe aren't fans of the movie. But I got, I got quite a few of these in a Spasta Collectibles uh, box. So let's pop up the next one, which is going to be. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. It's like droopy skin and stuff. It's, you know. If you like the movie and you want to collect them, I guess that it, it appeals to you. You know what I'm saying? But if you know me personally, I'm, I don't have one in my collection. I mean, this one's sick though, and it is in my collection. It's the Glow in the Dark Oogie Boogie from the Nightmare Before Christmas. I don't know what the run is yet till we get the the pog out and check it out. But can is in great shape. I'd say probably nine out of ten. It's got a little bit of impressions here on the side, but nothing too major. The lid, eh, we'll go 8 out of 10. The lid does have some some things on it. The bottom's good, though. So we'll put that on there. Looks like it's a 16,700-piece run. Glow Oogie Boogie. It is glow in the dark. It is cool. There's the Oogie. And this is, like, super sick glow, too. So there he is holding his dice. And the chase is him in the burlap, him as the burlap sack. So... Like I said, the burlap one, me personally, I would have probably assumed would be the common and the glow would be the chase, but it's the opposite. So this one is one of those weird commons that probably would have been the chase if they did it right. But let me check out this chat. <laughs> I've never seen the movie either, Bill, to be honest with you. I have no idea. It's just droopy flesh, and I know like he has eyes on his hands. That's all I know. So it's a good movie. There you go. Yes, I can, Riley. You got it. Let me show it off. So we got these SPD soda kits um, for sale as an add-on purchase right here, which is basically a hard stack for your soda pogs, which allows you to display the words on the back or the picture. In this neat little stand here, which holds your soda pog perfectly, which allows you to display it next to your soda, just like how I have here with the Sonic the Hedgehog Super Metallic Ultra Extra Exclusive Chase. The metallic one's the most exclusive of all, just so you guys know. But you can see how you can kind of you can kind of model it and move it around. It doesn't have to be in a specific spot. And I like them for Instagram, to be honest with you. They make great for photo shoots. You could put it right next to it. That's the TRG. That's right. It's the ultra exclusive. <laughs> Bill. <laughs> yeah, they definitely fit in a can. Um, like I said, I keep my HR Puffin stuff, uh, Soda Pog, in one of these protectors in the can with the stand. So, And, if, yeah, your Manhunter Chase comes with a soda kit for sure. Any Chase purchased tonight, you get a free soda kit. Free soda kit with every chase purchase tonight. You get a sealed can, you pull a chase, I'll give you a free soda kit. Of course, no worries, Riley. It's better to be transparent now than you to open up your uh, your box and get you know weirded out because you weren't expecting something or you were expecting something different. So what up, James? How's it going? Jimmy Funko's in the house. How's it going? How's it going? We got Dr. Manhattan right now taking the glow in the dark oogie boogie. 
go to Dr. Manhattan. Congratulations. Taking home an awesome, awesome, I guess, error soda. Glow in the dark. Oogie boogie. 16,000 happy people out there flashing their glow in the dark. Oogie boogie. I have one. I'll be busting it out for Halloween time. Get this back in the black bag for you. And then our next one is a Woodsy Owl from WonderCon 2021. Pop that one up. All right. I'll catch up with chat in just a second. Let me get this next one queued up. So this one is a Woodsy the Owl from WonderCon 2020. There he is, Woodsy. Lend a hand, care for the land. Y'all remember him from childhood. Those big round pineapple looking eyes. A couple dings here on the side. A couple dings here on the lid, as you can see from his pointy head. A ding here on the bottom. So a lot of these were like that. There were all kinds of beat up. Here's what here's a better look at the bottom of the can. You can see all the contact that his head made with the can. There you can see down the bottom too that little ding on the side I was talking about. Pog has some dents on the front of it, but it is a 6,250-piece Woodsy Owl. So, again, cool figure. Got some dings, though, on the can. And here he is right there. There is Woodsy Owl. He's got his whistle. I have the pop of this one, and it looks very similar to the soda adaptation, so... Let's see if we can set him on the turnstile there. I'll get this started along here. Um, where are we at here? This one is the one mandala. Every day, absolutely. Let me see what we got here in chat. Yeah, the Quisp Chase. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Yeah, Smokey the Bear. That would be cool to go Smokey the Bear soda. That'd be dope. And now they do need to make a McGruff soda. They make a McGruff pop. Be dope. Ten inch McGruff. Scruff McGruff from Chicago, Illinois. Welcome back. Welcome back. Right now we have a WonderCon 2021 Woodsy Owl Common. It is a 6,250 piece run, and here is Mr. Woodsy with his whistle. It's the exact same pop as the chase, only the chase is flocked. But it is a convention exclusive Woodsy the Owl. Yeah, exactly. All right. Welcome, welcome, everybody. How's it going? We've got some SPD soda kits for sale as well tonight. I don't know how many we have left. Let's see. About half left. Nice. Sold about half of what we had put aside. Nice. Beer guy taking home Woods of the Owl for a steal. I guess you could flock him yourself. Because it is only the brown part that's flocked. Everything else is the same. The easy, easy flock job. And let me put that back in the can for you, good sir. Put that aside. Next up we got is a snake pliskin. This one looks good too. The can looks good on this one. Oh, we got some dings here on the side. On the side of the can. But this is snake pliskin from Escape from New York. Perfect timing on this uh, drop for snake. That woodsy pog back in the woodsy can because all the stuff that's going on in new york and everything so they dropped the this year at the the con they dropped a limited run snake pliskin and then we also got a snake pliskin soda so here's the pog pog is mint we got his face on one side 8400 piece for the snake pliskin can just had a couple dings on it so not mint on the can and this one is sealed in the bag as you guys can see, there is the black bag. And I actually don't think I have one on this side over here that I could pull out for you guys. But this one is sealed in the bag. So we'll put him there. Do I actually have another one over here on the table? 
Yes, I do. Let me see if I have one that is actually open. Yep, I do have one that's open. So I'll show you guys what the figure looks like. But this one is sealed in the bag. So here's what Snake looks like. The chase is just, uh, the arm is bent across his chest with a different gun. But in the, in the common, he has a revolver there with a scope on it, which is pretty cool. But the figure is the exact same for the chase, just has the different gun across his chest, which is like a machine gun. So let me get this started and I will catch up with chat. Snake plus skin, the sealed one. One dollar. All right, let me catch up with this chat here. It's a metallic one, Shady. Yeah, six. Well, I think it's got more than 650, dude. Yeah, Axel Foley. That'd be great to get some Beverly Hills Cop. Um, so it is. We got some pops already. Excited to see how they're going to fit uh, Bullwinkle Moose inside the soda can. That's going to be an interesting one because they already got Fearless Leader dropping. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, how, maybe they're going to do like a two liter soda version because didn't they say in the Ask Me Anything that they're going to make larger sodas like, you know, Tall Boys and two liters and kegs? <laughs> All kinds of stuff. Who knows? Yeah, some Pop Rocks would be dope. That would be dope. Yeah, for sure. Right now we got Snake Pliskin, which is an 8,400-piece run, and it is this one right here. This is the one that is in the sealed bag. Snake Pliskin. Welcome, welcome. The SPD soda kit. Let me pull that out for you, and I'll show it to you. Bella Pig taking the snake pliskin. Ooh, Justin with the snipe. This is the SPD soda kit. It is a hard stack protector for your soda pogs, and it slips into this little stand. Nice, Justin taking on the snake pliskin. It sits in this little stand right here. So you can display your soda pog next to your figures. Nice. All right. If you guys want me to put something up, let me know. There is a list of items down here in the bottom corner right, right there. So go check that out. Something you want me to run, let me run it. If you want to see something, let me know and I'll show it to you. But let's put up one of these luchador sodas. Let's grab out... This one is the Venom one. So this is Venom, Venonoide or whatever. This is a mint can. I'm not seeing anything on the top or the bottom. That's what he looks like right there. This is a 12,500 piece Luchador soda. So let's see what we got here. I also have the Chase available tonight for this version. If you guys are interested in the Chase, let me know. But there he is. He's got the Venom Tongue right there. And the Chase one is metallic with a different chest spider. But that is the soda right there. Let's start this one, and then I will catch up on the chat. Uh, then Venonoide, there we go. One dollar, one minute. NFTs start next month. Chucky Leatherface. Now we're talking. Thank you. Let's get a nice cue going with some sodas. Got another Jack Torrance. We got some more fawns. We sold the fawn chase earlier. Um, we got some more Jack Skellingtons, Vampire Jack, Crash Bandicoot, John Lefoot. We got some Dick Dastardly action, some Deku. We got some Miguel action from Coco, Black Widow, Woodsy the Owl again. Uh, we got Harley Quinn, Donatello's from Ninja Turtles. We got some more Luchador stuff. A lot of good stuff. Martian Manhunter. We got Superman. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, Pog. Exactly. Exactly, Bill. Thank you. <laughs> Some people sniping. Some people sniping the uh, Venonoide. 
So again, there is the common soda right there. He's got his tongue out. And I do have the chase available as well. Yeah, I agree. I agree. This is the – what up, the ginger? I agree. This is the best lucha for sure. Well, I don't know. The Hulk one's kind of cool too. If you've seen the Hulk one, that one's kind of neat too. I have to say probably my least favorite is probably the Arachno or the Invicto, the Iron Man one. Nice. Justin taking home the Venom soda. Uh, no, I did have not heard any more about it. I thought it was going to happen with some kind of the vinyl figure. Like an Amiibo or something, but with Funko. All right, let's do Chucky next. This is from the Horror Line. Here is the movies. You got Chucky, Child's Play 2, Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky, and Child's Play 3. All movie logos on the side there. There's what he looks like. The can itself is in great shape. I'd say mint. Nothing on the top. Nothing on the bottom. Put that right there on the turnstile. The pog itself is... This one has a little bit of an indentation on his forehead. I don't know if you can see in the shine there, right there maybe. But the back is mint. And this is a 12,500 piece Chucky. Take them out the bag and check them out. Figure itself looks great. None of the paint's jacked up. Got the good guys jumper on with the knife. And there is the back of the good guys jumper. So pretty cool. Put them on the turnstile. Get them started and then I'll catch up on chat. Chucky Wondala. What up, Darth Venom? That is an awesome name. I dig it. Welcome, welcome, welcome back, Funko Junko. Appreciate you. Blood Stripe, what's happening? Welcome back, welcome back. Right now we have Common Chucky on the turnstile, and this one is a 12,500-piece soda. Uh, I have three Donatellos left. I only ran one earlier. I did that as my early bird auction for everyone who showed up at 8. But this one is the common Chucky from Child's Play series and the Chucky series. Welcome back, Bella Pig. And if there's something you guys want me to run, let me know. Check it out down in the tag below. There's a little tag down here. Check out what I got available. If you want me to put something up, I could do that. Next on deck, we have a leather face. I'm going to run one of the Donatellos. I'm going to run one of my Chase Luchadors. We're going to do the Venom one, the Metallic Venom one, because looks like we might have some people in that might be interested in that. We got some sealed sodas. I'm going to throw one of these sealed Iron Man sodas up or Invicto or whatever it is. Um, and I'm going to grab, let's grab this Deku. So I got five sodas on deck right now. Yep, Donatello is coming up, absolutely. Right after Leatherface is Donatello. And Leatherface is next, so... Welcome, welcome. Welcome back, beer guy. We got a Chucky going to Justin. Nice take home. Very, very cool. I have uh, a few horror ones left. If you guys are interested in horror ones, I have some Jack Torrance. I have one left of him. I have some Fawns. I have Vampire Jack, regular Jack Skellington, and some Pale Man sodas left. Let me get this hog. Toss that in there as well. All right. Next up on deck, we had a request for Leatherface. Here is the can. This is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface. Very cool. Can is mint. Let me. There is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre logo. I'll catch up with chat in a second. The pog has a little bit of an indentation in the middle there. But other than that, it looks mint. 10,500 pieces for this leather face. And let's check out the figure. Here he is, the common leather face. And I believe the chase is him bloody. I don't know if there's anything different with the outfit. 
but I think it's just bloody. But here is Leatherface with his chainsaw. I mean, they even made this like horrific creature into a like basically a Scooby Doo villain because when they added the soda, you know, aesthetic to him, he I mean, he looks like a Scooby Doo villain. This guy, I mean, he could literally be <laughs> running, <laughs> making the, the gang run, you know what I mean? Um, but then on the can, he looks like, I mean, he looks like truly horrific in there, like you would in the movie. But then when you look at the actual soda, he looks, he looks like a Scooby Doo villain. So that's why I, that's why I kind of dig the sodas. Cause they can make like the most horrific looking things look kind of cutesy, like that pale man, you know what I mean? He's kind of, he's horrific, but they make him kind of look cutesy and give it a different aesthetic. I mean, the masters of the universe ones, I really dig too, like how they made He-Man look and, and Skeletor. I mean, it really looks cool. They, they, I dig the aesthetic for the sodas. We're going to start this at a dollar for a minute. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Leatherface Pop's cool. Welcome back, Bill. Welcome back, Black Cat. Alexi, how's it going? We got the Leatherface Common Soda. This is a 10,500-piece run for this soda. And we got the Common here. I believe the chase is him bloody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We got the common leather face. If there's something you guys want to see, though, let me know. Drop it in the chat. Something you want me to run, let me know. I'll run it. Just drop it in the chat. We grab one of these over here. What do we got over here? Let's grab one of these. Got this. Nice. Enjoy that. I think you will. We got a Donatello up next for you. Uh, sealed sodas. I have two Iron Man Luchador ones. Nice beer guy taking home Leatherface. Um, I have two sealed, these Iron Man Luchador ones, and I have two Batgirl ones as well. And I have some chases left also. So beer guy taking home Leatherface. Next up, we're going to drop a Donatello from the Ninja Turtles line. And if there's something you want to see, let me know. Because after Donatello, I'm going to be dropping a Chase Venom Luchador soda. So that'll be next. Put that up there. Here is the Donatello soda. Nice. Taking home another soda kit. This is the Donatello soda from the Ninja Turtle Wave. There he is back there. We got a little ding here on the side. Or maybe his bow staff made contact with the can. Bottom has a ding on it as well in the middle. And everything else looks good. So a couple dings on the can, so I would not say mint. And this one is sealed, but I have one I can show you above me. So like I said, there's some dings in the can. You can see in the can that ding that I was talking about on the side. Sometimes it's easier to show you through the can. But other than that, that's the uh, only ding on the side, and then there's one on the bottom. And this one is a minty pog as well. 10,500 pieces, Donatello. And there is the pog. This one is sealed in the black bag. But I have one open I can show you right above me. So here is the common Donatello. He has his bow staff. And I believe the chase is him glow in the dark with a little bit different facial expression. But... It is a cool soda nonetheless. So let me get this started. And we'll get this going here, Donatello. One minute, one dollar. I know. I, well, what I'm going to probably do is 10 and 20 packs. Uh, like next uh, auction, I'll do 10 and 20 packs because some people might want to just buy like enough soda kits for um, maybe they're all their chases or for their whole collection or whatever they want to do. So next, this is a this was a trial run. I just wanted to kind of try these out in the soda auction to see how they would go. But it looks like a lot of people are liking them. Uh, I mean, I like them. I use them in every one of my Instagram posts uh, when I do you know soda posts. So yeah, I mean, uh, ten and twenty packs would probably be what's going to be next, and I'll still do individual ones. What up, Beeps? How's it going? Dad Pop, how's it going? Welcome back, Adrian. Bella Pig, what's going on? Justin taking the Donatello. So let me know if there's something you guys want to see. 
Uh, I'll put it up and show you. Next up, I'm going to be running is the Venom Chase Luchador one. And then after that, I got a sealed uh, Iron Man Luchador soda. Uh, we have a Deku from My Hero Academia, a Dick Dastardly from Wacky Races. And if there's something you guys want to see, I can pop it in before some of those. Just let me know. Just let me know. We've got quite a few sodas left tonight. We sold just about half the auction already. Thank you for everyone stopping by tonight. I'll be back again tomorrow night for another comic auction. I'll be doing DC Bronze and Copper Age tomorrow night. If you want to stop by and get some really great books, I got some really nice stuff put aside. Uh, stop by tomorrow night, same place, same time, only on whatnot. I'll be doing, like I said, DC Copper and Bronze Age books. Jean Lefoot, he will be put on deck. You got it. Captain Crunch. Let's get that put aside for you. Yeah, Adrian, dude, you should definitely stop by. You don't, have to, you don't have to buy any books or anything. Just stop by and check out some of the covers and some of the books I got for tomorrow. Some really cool stuff. Um, and I threw in some from my personal collection, and I have some from some collections that I purchased. Nice. Justin taking home the Donatello. Very nice pickup. Good, sir. Let me toss this back in here. And again, your Donatello is sealed in the bag. So let me take that out of the bag yourself if you like. All right. Next up, we got the Chase El Venenoide. Venom, Venenoid? Venenoide. Venenoid. I don't know. The Venom Luchador. We're going to call it the Venom Luchador Soda. So this is a mint can. And this is the Chase. Metallic Chase. It's actually really freaking cool. Top is not damaged. Bottom is not damaged. Mint can. Here is the Pog. 2,500 pieces. Chase fire coming out. There is the sparkly luchador mask. You found the Chase. 2,500 pieces. This does ship with a free SPD soda kit. And again, this is a metallic luchador. He has a different spider on the chest as well. As you can see on the can, there is a white spider on his chest. And for the chase, it is a silver metallic spider. He is fully metallic with the graphite gunmetal color and the silver metallic to accent everything. The tongue is even metallic red. So is his belt. Again, all the straps on the back of the luchador mask are metallic. I mean, the whole thing's metallic except for the flesh tone. Let's be honest. It's a cool, this is this is a cool one. This one, I think, and the Hulk one are probably my. My two favorite ones from this line, and they're awesome uh, in metallic. I almost wish they made them metallic from the beginning, you know what I mean, and just didn't do anything with non-metallic stuff because I feel like normal luchador masks, for the most part, have some kind of metallic properties on there. So let's pop up the Venom Luchador Chase. This one does ship with a soda kit, so you get yourself a soda kit. Um, one dollar, one minute. I'll catch up with chat here. Nice. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, Mountain State Cards. We got Chase Venom Luchador Soda here. This is a 2,500-piece run. Very, very cool metallic Chase. Soda Kit. Soda Kit. These are the SPD Soda Kits right here. It's a hard protector for your POG. And it has a nice convenient stand so that you can store... The pog in its protector next to your figure it's cool beebs check them out it makes great for photo opportunities nice we got the venom luchador soda here metallic chase very freaking cool it is loaded with metallic it's got silver metallic and graphite metallic and black gloss paint on it. it is dope. Well, I don't know about that. Well, yeah, I like the elk. <laughs> it does. That's how that's how Bill actually found me through uh, Instagram. He saw me taking photos of my pogs in my uh, cut elk antler, antler and uh, he offered to send me some of these to check them out. And I've been sold ever since. They're pretty dope, actually. So I use them for every one of my Instagram photos for sodas. What up, Dave? How's it going, man? Well, Dave actually has my my uh, branch uh, card holder. He has the card holder that is, it looks like a branch. 
And the antler one was the one you saw there, Bill. Pretty good tonight, man. Pretty good. Right now I got a venom chase up and rolling through some sodas. Um, rolling through all the commons. I got a couple sealed stuff left that I'm gonna be popping. So I didn't put all the good stuff in the beginning. Thanks, Dave. I appreciate you, man. It's a cool one, man. It's a cool one. Nice. Leia taking home the Venonoide, Venonoide, El Venonoide, the Venom Luchador Chase tonight. Very nice. Next up, we have a sealed Iron Man Luchador Soda. So if you guys like those, I have a sealed one I'm going to toss in the mix. If there's something you want to see, let me know. I'll put it up and run it. But if not, I'm just going to pull stuff from the table. Here is the El Hero Invictico, the Iron Man Luchador Soda. Now the can is mint. Oh, nope, it's not. It's got a huge dent on the bottom. The lid's fine, but it's got a huge dent on the bottom. So it's a near mint on that can. He is sealed. 15,000 pieces for the full run. Hero Invictico. Hero Invictico. Sealed. There we are. Sealed. All right. Start it. One minute. Every auction tonight starting at a buck, and we're doing one minute for everything. I do not, but that'd be a good one to get, though, Dave. That would be a good one to get. I do not have it, though. What up, OB? How you doing? Um, that is a cool one, though. Uh, they're still on there, uh, Wonderland. You can you can grab a soda kit. They're still there. They should be. That'd be a cool one, though, Dave. For sure. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back. Nice. Dave taking the sealed Invictigo. I think we started out the night tonight with uh, 10 of these. Iron Man Luchador sodas. We had sealed ones. I still have some open ones, too. I don't think we only did, what, two of the open ones? One of the open ones. And we did all the sealed ones. And like I said, I do have some of these SPD soda kits as well that are available. These are a hard stack protector for your pogs and it comes with a removable base and it allows you to display your soda pogs in a controlled environment here are some other ones that i have in there nice lay taking on the sealed invictigo uh, if you want this to be popped let me know i'll put it off to the side here i'll get the other one queued up nice next we have my hero academia deku which has a, I'd say, near mint can. It's got a ding right here over the K on Izuku. You guys can kind of see that. There we go. But I'll put that over there. The pog itself is mint. There is the front right there. And here is the back. I will catch up on chat as soon as I get this deck started. And... Put that there. All right, here is the common Deku Funko Soda. For you anime fans, we got him in his little outfit there. There's the little ears. You can kind of see the hood upside down there. But there he is. We'll put him on the turnstile. We'll start him at a dollar tonight. And then I'll catch up on chat. So Izukio, Izuku. Midoriya. Let's start the dollar for a minute, and I'll catch up on chat. Nice. Uh, Venom, Luchadors. No, we sold through all those. I have, a, I have Hulk and Iron Man left. Chases. Yeah, they're by it now, those soda kits. $3 for the kit, Biebs. Um, And if you've already made a purchase tonight, I believe it's only like a dollar shipping or i don't know if those actually went into effect I, I don't know i think it's actually you can get up to four items shipped for free i don't know when those actual new shipping things come into play maybe dave do you know has the new shipping policies switched over yet 
Okay, so then, yeah, if you bought something tonight, Beebs, then you can get up to uh, four items shipped for one price. So if you want to get, like, a soda or just buy kits, you can buy kits straight up. Okay, yeah. I, I don't know if I saw a date, actually, for that. I need to check the Discord and see what's going on with that. But right now we have a My Hero Academia soda. This is Deku. Common. I believe it's a glow for the chase on this one. But it is a 17,000-piece run. Nice. Well, yeah, for sure, Bill, because I, I mean, I was shipping 10 inch pops for 350, which is like, I mean, that's a good deal for whoever's buying 10 inch pops on whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's a good for anybody buying 10 inch pops on, on whatnot in the beginning. Yeah, absolutely. Justin, do you want the chase or do you want me to run the common? Because I have one of each or I could run one of each if you like. Just let me know down in the chat. Yes, yeah, very true. Very true. I mean, eBay started out, you could buy a, a kidney in a, in a cooler when it first started out. You know what I mean? So and now you can't even sell like adult magazines on there. So it has evolved. Yep, you got it. Sounds good. Looks like Mana God's taking home the Deku Soda. Let me put him back in his bag and then we'll get the Jean Le Foot. Load it up, and then I got some El Furiosos, and then a Dick Dastardly. So, let me do... I think I have... No, he's over there on the other side. I think the John LaFutu is open. Yes, he is. All right, cool. So, we got Jean LaFut from Captain Crunch, the ad icon line. Uh, looking at it, it looks like a minty can. Bottom has a dent on it. Top looks good. I mean, there's a little bit of warpage, but it doesn't look like anything dinged it. I mean, that's just how it was made. But the bottom definitely has a ding on it. And Jean Lefoot has no pog. No pog for Jean Lefoot. So keep that in mind. There's no pog in this can. The Jean Lefoot, there he is. The rascally rabbit. Whoop. No pog on this one, so just know that. Get that lid. There we go. Jean Lefoot. No pog with the Mr. Foot. Um, let me catch up on this. Yeah, right. Yeah, this is all true. Yeah, I don't. I thought you what they were talking about, Force is Strong, is that you're going to be able to mine cryptocurrency from your vinyl purchases. That's what I thought the understanding was with this whole thing that they were incorporating. And they, when they announced that huge thing that they were merging with, like some large thing, I thought they were going to announce a merger with Nintendo and they were going to do some kind of thing that the Amiibos were doing. And this was going to allow you to unlock cryptocurrency. That's what I thought this whole NFT thing was going to be for Funkos, and I didn't know if we were going to do that for sodas or if they were going to do it for Pops. I didn't know how they were going to roll it out. Token Head was the merger, so it wasn't Nintendo. So, all right. So it wasn't Nintendo. All right, cool. So this is John Lefoot. Um, 7,500 pieces is the whole run, so it's probably like 5,200 pieces for the for the common. OBE the kid taking home Jean Lefoot with no pog. All right. I think he was actually the only one tonight that didn't have a pog. All right, next we got El Furioso. Which one is this? Let's run this one first. We're going to run the chase first, and then we'll run the common afterwards. Let's check out the can first. Can on the chase is mint. El Furioso. Again, the Hulk Luchador Soda. El Furioso is the Hulk. There is the pog for the chase. It is purple, the background. You found the chase. Metallic El Furioso. 2,500 pieces on this. Very cool. 
let's check this out. This was my second favorite next to the Venom one. But look at that metallic. Even the hair is graphite metallic. The purple and the green metallic really do pop with this figure for sure. Like I said, I, I feel like the Luchadors would have been a great launch if they just did everything metallic from the get-go and maybe made them glow or something. I don't know. But I think the metallic really does suit the Luchador uh, pops for sure. I mean, I mean the, the, the purple and the green definitely go well together metallic on this. Let me get this pulled up and then... I'll catch up on chat. Now, every chase tonight started at a dollar for a minute. Every chase tonight ships with a free SPD soda kit, which is what I got right here. It's a pod protector, and it comes with a little stand. So you can take the stand off, put it back on, and display your pod. Uh, let me catch up here on chat. Oh, with a pop. Okay, it's more valuable. Yeah, you got it, Obi the Kid. I'll toss one in there for you. You got it. No worries. If I remember to toss in a coaster, I'll toss you in a coaster, dude, for your soda pop. But this is the Chase El Furioso's the Hulk Soda Chase Luchador. I don't know why this isn't focusing. It's because this is down here, right? Or it's all these faces in the background. I don't know. But 2,500 pieces on that metallic El Furioso. There is the metallic chase. This one's sick. So we got another chase left. We got some convention ones left. And we have some sealed ones left. So nice. Taking the metallic chase. Again, all chases tonight ship with a free soda kit. I will not put your pog in the soda kit. You're just going to get the kit. You can put the pogs in how you want them. The pogs is going to be in the can. You do what you want. Nice. Justin taking home the Hulk Luchador Chase. Chase, Chase. We'll run the common next. The pog in the can. And then if there's something you guys want to see, let me know. If not, I'll start pulling stuff from the table here. I also have, like I said, one more chase. I have three more exclusive pops from the convention. And we got some sealed, I got four sealed sodas left. Two Batgirls and two Iron Man Luchadors. So this one is the common. Let's see here. All right. Can here is mint. Oh, bottom does have a ding on the on the bottom. The top is not mint. So the outer outer can is mint, but the top and the bottom I'd say probably near mint for the can, if you would. This one has some dents on the pog. Twelve thousand five hundred pieces for that. Here is the pop. Definitely different when it's not metallic, but still I think the purple and green look good together. I'll catch up on chat as soon as I finish getting this one started here. We'll greet everybody who came in. So that is the Hulk Luchador Soda. Furioso. That one's that one because that one's opened. One minute. One dada. Thanos Luchador, absolutely. El Terra Purpura. That one is coming up. We got it. We got the Luchadors tonight. We got we got all of them. We got El Arachno. We got the Spider-Man Hulk. We have Thanos and Iron Man left tonight. And I also have two sealed Iron Man sodas left as well. If you'd like to see those ripped on air when you buy them, let me know. All chases tonight, whether it's from a sealed soda or if it's from a chase that you want in an auction tonight, is going to ship with a soda kit. So know that. Beebs taking the Hulk common. Very, very nice. We have one more of these left as well. Oh, no worries. Sorry. I thought uh, maybe there's not a link on my YouTube. Or Yeah, I think there is actually. 
think I have a direct link in the YouTube description. Sorry, OB. Uh, I don't have custom stickers, but I have channel stickers. And if you want, Justin, I can toss them in your box. I don't know what custom stickers are. Like for my custom pops that I do? I do not. Looks like Beeb took the Hulk. Yeah, of course. No worries. Nice. Beeb's taking home a soda for a buck tonight. Nice, dude. Now grab yourself some of those SPD soda kits. Because now you qualified for that shipping. And then you don't have to pay for it again. All right. Let's get this put in the can. All right. Next, we have El Terra. We have Thanos Soda. Thanos Soda. There is the pog. Can is mint on this soda. Pog does have some scratches on it, but other than that, it is mint. 12,500 pieces for this Thanos soda. We got the Thanos Luchador. Here he is. A little bit darker flesh tone compared to the other ones. And then you have the Infinity Gauntlet belt, which is really cool. Check that out with the stones in it. And then you have a purple and black and gold trimmings to him which is really cool you even got the neck thing with the chin for the luchador mask very very cool on this one it's the luchador this one is terror mm, oops spelled that wrong that's why i'm like why didn't that show up no terror papira this one was the opened one so let me list that uh, let's see what we got. No worries, man. I don't know if I can it. Yeah, no worries. Make who's Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, I don't know. It's not really Thanos. It's actually just like a luchador wrestler dressed up as Thanos. So I don't know if he still have the same power. You know what I'm saying? And I wonder, since it's like on his belt, like, I don't even know if the snap would even be appropriate. Maybe you could do some kind of hip thrust and destroy the galaxy what up stone man welcome what up pop guy how's it going we got the el terra papira the thanos luchador soda here this is the common 10 000, 12,500 pieces there is the belt with all the stones on it as well and again it's a gold and purple theme with this if you like wrestling, these would be great. You get a bunch of these luchadors, you get a little ring together, and you can take some nice photo ops. Yeah, right. Yeah, or an ass clap, exactly. The thunder clap. That's right, the Thanos thunder clap. Nice. Taking home El Terra Purpura. All right. Next up, I'm going to toss a Dick Dastardly on the turnstile. And then if there's something you guys want to see, let me know. I got a Martian Manhunter, Superman, Harley Quinn, Snake Plissken, Crash Bandicoot. I got some convention stuff, too. This one's cool. I like Dick Dastardly. This is from the Wacky Races. So this one can is mint on the outside. Bottom has a little ding on it. Nothing too crazy. Top is minty. And this is a 10,000-piece run for Dick Dastardly from the Wacky Races. There is Mr. Dastardly. Team Vulture. Let's get this out. Here is Dick Dastardly in his classic outfit. Look at that mustache. Crazy, right? He looks cool. There he is right there. Let's get him started, and then I'll catch up with chat. There he is, Dick Dastardly. One dollar, one minute. All right. I do have another Thanos. Would you like me to run it for you, Justin? I have two more. I'll put it in line here. Looks like we got a Superman request as well. And then, what up, Carlos? Welcome, welcome. Crash? Absolutely. Crash Bandicoot. You got it. All right. Welcome, Papa Missouri. Welcome back. 
Sydney, welcome back. Pop guy, welcome back. Right now we have a Dick Dastardly Common Soda. This is a 10,000 piece run for this Dick Dastardly Soda. And here he is in his classic Wacky Races outfit. Just ready to get gnarly with Muttley. Nice. We have one chase left. Three convention pops. We have four sealed sodas left. And a partridge in a pear tree. Nice. Poppin' Missouri taking on Dick Dastardly Common. Very nice. And a lot of these I got in soda mystery boxes that I bought. So they are opened. That is Dick Dastardly. All right. Next up, we got whoa, Dick Dastardly. Dastardly fellow you. We got Superman in a non-mint can. Comes with the Pog, though. The Superman can is not mint. It does have some dings on it right here in the front, as you can see. The bottom has a little bit of a bubble on it, but it doesn't stop it from standing up. Top has no dings on it, but let me show you the ones on the side. Here's what it looks like from the inside. There's that. Here is the Pog. Superman on one side, and it is a 12,500 piece Superman run. Now, again, the chase for this one is Bizarro. So, if you just want Superman, the chase is not Superman. You got to get Superman. So, that is the classic comic Superman. Very awesome. I mean, I wish they would do this with Marvel in the soda line. Instead, we got Luchadors and marvel movie pops or sodas it's kind of like i don't know it's, it's, be consistent if you're going to do comics dc stuff then do comic marvel stuff don't give me mcu garbage thanos and black widow and all this crap like give me classic comic ones if you're going to do it to dc start him at a dollar and then i'll catch up on chat i have heard a bear break absolutely crash yes crash is in queue I have a Thanos soda next, and then a Crash Bandicoot. Welcome, welcome, Texaf. How's it going? Dig the Hulk avatar. Very cool. Like I said, tonight we have... Uh, they're expensive. I mean, if you're into it, if you're into it, I mean, you know, it's a commitment for sure, financially. Uh, and they are large, so they're, they're cool to display. And just collect what you like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Batgirl, sealed Batgirl soda, you got it. We'll put one on deck. And we got three more sealed ones after that. One more chase and three convention exclusives. Uh, I don't know if they, I don't know, Stone Man taking home the Superman with the dented can. Um, I don't know if uh, people sell them on whatnot yet or not. But uh, you definitely you could check it out under the designer toy section. That would probably be like the first place to check um, and see exactly what other people are doing on it, and maybe check out some of their auctions. It's always good to pop in uh, to someone's auction and just kind of see like what other people are doing that you're thinking about doing. If that makes any sense. Next, we have a El Terra Pura 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 Luchador soda sealed in the black bag. This one does not have a mint can. Has a really big ding on the side there under the one piece, as you can see right there. Um, other than that, everything else looks good. There's a ding on the top right next to the soda discharge. Bottom looks good. So just two two dings on this one. And again, this is the common. 12,500 pieces. Comes in a sealed black bag. We just saw what this one looked like when we sold the other one. But this one is sealed in the black bag. Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, worse than Funko. I mean, dude, any drop, it seems like no matter what toy you're buying is worse than Funko. I mean, Funko has like a legion of people that let other people know what's going on. It's pretty dope. Um, nice, dude. Awesome. Good luck with that. I appreciate you. It is pricey. Whew, that could get, yeah, that could add up fast. It's like hot toys. But this is the El Terra Pure Pura. This is the Thanos Luchador Soda. 
Kipira, Pipira. I don't know if I'm saying these right. I'm probably butchering it just like I do with the anime stuff, but it's not on purpose. What would have actually probably made this set pretty awesome is that if they would have actually put the, the character, like maybe like the human version of the character, like for the Iron Man one, make it Tony Stark in a luchador mask or like Bruce Banner in a luchador mask. That would have been dope. Jack Skellington, you want the vampire or regular or both? You got it. We'll run both. We got Vampire Jack and Regular Jack coming up. We got a sealed Batgirl soda. I got a Crash Bandicoot on deck. And again, something you guys want to see, let me know down in the chat, and I'll run it. And I'm going to actually pop one of these Invicticos and put that after the Jack Skellington so we can get some Luchador action tonight. We still got quite a few that we have to move through tonight. Today's Mandalorian drop? Yeah, dude. Justin taking home El Terra Papura. What up, Rock and Roll? How's it going, man? All right. Next up we got is the Crash Bandicoot. This one is the common. Here is the soda can outside no dings on the outside no dings on the bottom and we got some dings on the top here i'll show you the inside of the can too you can see that there's no dings in there and then here is the lid right there just a couple dings on the lid so it's a near mint on that here is a soda pog which looks it's a mint on the pog too no dings on that 10,500 pieces for this crash bandicoot and i'll show you the figure As soon as I get this guy started, I'll catch up on chat, but no paint blemishes or flaws in the Crash Bandicoot figure. Now, the chase for this one would have been awesome if it was flocked, but we got a gold one. This is the common. Again, looks awesome. Look great next to a game for Instagram photo. Let's pull him up. So we got the common Crash Bandicoot soda. We'll start him at a dollar. All auctions tonight are starting at a dollar. No sudden death. Now, I'll catch up on chat. Hey, welcome on. <laughs> All right, he's done. Yeah, no worries, dude. Oh, dang, dude. That's that's a uh, oof. <laughs> Force is strong. That's that does hurt, dude. It hurts me to read that for sure. Nice. Rock and roll taking home one of the soda kits. Again, if you guys are interested in any of the soda kits, uh, they hold your pog in a little hard stack case, and they come with a little stand for you to display that soda kit just like that so and like i said next auction i'm gonna probably pick up some more off uh bill uh we'll do some maybe 10 or 20 packs of those for people if they want to pick them up imagine where is are some yeah right exactly 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 but we got the common crash bandicoot right now in the turn style again this is a 10,500 piece run up next, we have a sealed Batgirl soda, a common Jack Skellington, a vampire Jack, and then a Iron Man Luchador soda on deck. If there's something you guys want to see, check out that little tab in the bottom corner and let me know if you want me to run something. Let me know that as well. Nice. OB the kid taking home the Crash Bandicoot common. And most of these sodas tonight came out of a Spastic Collectibles mystery box. Grabbed a lot of those when they had them available. And let me pull up the next one, and then we'll catch up with some chat. All right, next up, let me grab this painter's tape off the lid here. All right, we have a sealed Batgirl soda. Um, minty can, no dings on the top, no dings on the bottom, and the sides are nice. So sealed, if you guys want me to pop this for you after you win it, I'll do that. I'm going to leave the wrapper on the outside just so... It stays extra minty fresh for you. Let's run her. We only have two left for the night, and this is one of the last two. One dollar will start her out for one minute. Welcome back, Bella Pig. Oh, no worries. 
Welcome, welcome. Yeah, sorry about that force strong. That stinks. Profixel, welcome, welcome. Welcome back, OB. Welcome, welcome. We have a sealed Batgirl soda here. 15,000 pieces. Not sure. I don't have any open ones, so I'm not sure what exactly the piece count is on that. Off the top of my head, probably somewhere around 10,500 pieces, I imagine, or something like that. So, welcome, Jimmy. Welcome, welcome. Tech's up 75. What's happening? Thank you for the bid. Appreciate you. It's easier to collect, too. I mean, Funko is definitely easier to collect than a lot of the other stuff, like uh, Force of Strong was talking about earlier. Some of them can, like, those drops with the bricks broke can get real expensive. I mean, talking three drops a week, you know, anywhere between 200 and 600 a piece. That's a lot. Nice. Tech Sup taking the Batgirl soda. If you'd like me to open that, I'll open that for you, but I'll put it off to the side. Uh, Sir Pops a lot. I have another uh, pop auction. If you want to check out my page, I have, um, I think it's scheduled for July. So go check that out. Next one we got is Jack Skellington Common Soda. That right there. All right, here, I'll catch up with chat in a second. Let me show you guys the can here. So here is the undented can for Jack Skellington. Bottom does have a little ding on the bottom cap. Top cap looks good. So I'd say near mint, even with that little ding on the bottom, you can see right there next to the word Funko. But let's grab the cap out and show you guys soda pog. So there it is. Pog itself has no damage on it. 16,700 pieces. Large run, but a cool soda. So, whoop, minty on the Pog, even with that drop. And next up we got is the figure here, which has no paint blemishes on it whatsoever. Looks great. The white is pristine. There is Mr. Jack Skellington there with his nice grin. And there's the back. As you can see, the white is nice and pristine on this one. So I'd say near mint for this soda here. And let's pull up Jack Skellington here. Oh, looks like we got... There we go. Tech's up. All right, there we go. It's finally catching me up here. All right, let's start this Jack Skellington at $1 tonight. Everything tonight is going to start at $1, no sudden death. And every chase tonight, if you pull a chase out of a sealed soda, you get a free soda kit. Uh, and if you bought a chase outright in the auction, you get a free soda kit. So just know that tonight. What's up, Christina Payne? How's it going? Welcome tonight. Let me catch up on some of this chat here. Yeah, totally. Hey, Savage Pops, what's happening? Welcome. Welcome in tonight. Ray's King, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Carried, how's it going? Welcome back. So right now we have a mint. I'd say mint. Slash near mint. Jack Skellington here, common. And he is a 16,700 piece run. We got one chase left for the night. Uh, confirmed chase. We got three sealed sodas. I got three convention pops or sodas left. And uh, quite a few common sodas still ready to run too. So. Whoa, that's a lot of money. <laughs> Congratulations, taking on the common Jack Skellington tonight. Let me get this guy back in the pouch. I'll pull the next one up, which is going to be a Vampire Jack. And then I'll catch up on chat. Hog in the can for you. All right. Put that one aside. Next we have up is the Vampire Jack. This is a common soda. This one, the sidewalls of the can is minty, even though this is probably one of the largest sodas that there is. Like I said, I'll catch up on chat as soon as I get this guy started. There is a ding on the bottom of the can, as you can see that little bubble. Top looks good, but the sidewalls are good on this one, despite him being so massive. With that cowl and the the cloak. So here is the pog right here with the white face. And again, minty pog on this one. No dings, no dents. 12,500 pieces on this. A little bit smaller of a run compared to the regular common jack. And then here is the figure itself. So you can see he has 
a little bit of a different grin, and he also has the vampire cape, cape slash cloak. Really cool one. Again, none of the uh, white paint on this one is jacked up or anything marked up. So very nice, very nice soda here. Let's pull up Vampire Jack, get him started. And then we have a few of the soda kits left. You guys want to check them out? I had 45 of them to start off with for the night. And we just got quite a few sold already. So grab it while it's still here. If you already bought something tonight, it's a great add-on purchase for yourself. Uh, let's start him out a dollar, of course, for one minute. And then I will check out the chat here. Hey, Bill, appreciate you stopping by tonight. Thanks so much for all the soda kits. Um, I mean, I think people are going to be uh, liking them. They're making their, their way to new homes tonight. So thank you so much for sending those over to me uh, for the auction, dude. Welcome back, Bill the Pig. Right now we have a Vampire Jack on... Nice. Another soda kit. We have a Vampire Jack on the turnstile right now. Again, this is a 12,500-piece run. The common Jack Skellington was like 16,700. Uh, this one's a little bit smaller run, but definitely a cool Jack Skellington for your collection. I have one of these in my collection. Um, I got nearly 75 sodas now in my collection. I don't collect every one of them because I'm not into that, but um, I do collect the ones that I like. So Chase is included. Nice. Another soda kit going home to a new... Collector. Nice. Jack Skellington Vampire going to CD Knee. A very, very nice pickup tonight. You got some other stuff tonight. Very nice. Snake Pliskin, you got it. Last Snake Pliskin for the night. Let's put Vampire Jack away. I'll queue up the next one, then we'll catch up with chat. So if there's something you want to see, like they just did, drop it in the chat so I can actually uh, put it up for you. If there's something you want me to run, just let me know in the chat as well, and I'll run it. Every chase tonight. Whether it comes out of a sealed can or you buy it outright, comes with a free soda kit. So, you know that. This is a Luchador, Iron Man Luchador soda. So, like I said, I'll get this one started and then we'll catch up with chat. So, can on this one looks good. Bottom, no ding. Top, no dings. So, great can on this one. Here's the Here's the Pog, El Hero, and Victigo. We're just going to call it Iron Man Luchador so we don't butcher it. But no damage on the Pog. It is very nice. Look good in a nice soda kit. <laughs> uh, 12,500 pieces on this run. And here is, here is the Iron Man Luchador figure. A little bit lighter on the complexion for this one. It's got the... Power sink on the belt, just like how Thanos had the Infinity Gauntlet stones. And again, here is the Luchador paint schema for this Iron Man. Now, I do have an Iron Man chase of this available as well, which we're going to run in a little bit. But this one is the common, and it is 12,500 pieces. So let's get that loaded up. I'll catch up with chat. And then, where are we at here? This one is a non-sealed one. Start it. All right. Um, Spencer's gifts. Are there any soda chases? Yes, I have a El Hero and Victor go left. We sold all the other ones left. I'll put it in queue if you'd like. We can do that. Yes, please, Christina. That'd be awesome. Yeah, hit, hit the follow button. Subscribe on YouTube. That'd be great. Nice, Funko Junko. Hit me up on Instagram as well. The Reasonable Gentleman. Welcome, Yvonne. Right now we have a Hel El Hero Invictico on the turnstile. This is a Luchador, Iron Man Luchador soda. Um, here is the common right here. If you like wrestling, you like Luchadors, this is for you. There you go, Force of Strong. We got a couple more of these Hero and Victigos. Like I said, I bought a bunch of these um, from Spastic. Well, they came in a mystery box from Spastic, so we got we got a lot of them. nice. Taking home the El Hero and Victigo again. It's better better going home to you than sitting here rotten. You know what I'm saying? Because someone will someone will enjoy this. And who knows what season will be the right season to sell these Luchador sodas? So 
Might as well get him out to collect his homes now and move on to something else. So do wise. Let me hop this one. Do this. All right, Snake Pliskin. This one is opened as well. Soda can looking sharp, nice and clean, no dings on the side. Bottom is dentless, top is dentless. We have a 8,400 piece Snake Pliskin. There's the other pog. Again, this one is very similar to the Chase. The arm is cocked in a different direction, and it has a different gun in it. So instead of him having a revolver with a scope, he has a machine gun, and it's like cocked over in front of his shirt. But for the most part, I believe everything else is the same on this figure. So again, 8,400-piece Snake Pliskin. Let's pull him up, and then I'll catch up with the chat. Nice. There he goes, Mr. Pliskin. One dollar, one minute. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, ex price is definitely fair. Because, uh, I mean, what are they doing? They're, what are they doing here? I'm not just going to have them sit on the shelf taking up space. They just need to get out of here, these um, luchador sodas. So we got quite a few from the Spastic Mystery Boxes. No worries, no worries. Thank you, Funko Junko. Appreciate you. El Arachno, you got it. El Arachno, which is the Spider-Man luchador. This one, let's pop this one next. We'll do this one next, too. All sodas are pops too. I have another pop auction coming up on Harley Quinn's going in queue. I got another pop auction coming up in July. They're probably like 100, 150 pops. Nice. Taking home the Snake Pliskin card hunter. Um, it'll be in July. Uh, tomorrow night I have a comic auction. It's going to be DC, Copper, and Bronze Age books. Um, and I think I'm going to be actually doing an auction every night next week. It's going to be comics. What up, D? Welcome back. Um, so I'll be doing another auction tomorrow and then probably every night next week. Next Thursday is a, co a Funko collectible auction, which is going to have some really cool stuff in it. So if you're into Funko and you, you like some of the older stuff that maybe you can't get your hands on, show up for that next week, same place, same time, and check out what I got. This is a Spider-Man Luchador Soda. This is the common right here. There's the Lucha Libre line. The can itself is has a ding on the bottom but nothing on top and nothing on the side so i'd say near mint on the can and let me show you the figure and then what i'll do is i'll catch up on chat so here is the pog which is mint no dings on the pog both sides i'll show you Twelve thousand five hundred pieces for this run again spider-man luchador non-metallic common right there Ready to go. You can even see the belt has a little spidey web suit look to it. So the knee pads. And then let me get this up. And then what I'll do is I'll catch up on chat. So $1, one minute, no sudden death. Let's do it. Harley Quinn, you got it. Thank you. Fit on the top of the can. There you go. Uh, Venom Pops. I'm sure there'll be something Venom in there for sure. It'll be for sure. Uh, Woodsy Owl, you got it. Let me put the Woodsy in queue. Uh, let me catch up here. Dope, dope, dope. Yep, absolutely. You can probably bet that there's going to be something Hulk-related or Venom-related in my pop auctions for sure because I have, usually have a surplus of those those characters. Hey, Curtis, welcome, welcome. Just running some sodas right now. We have the Arachno Spider-Man Luchadors. I know. And next we're running a chase. Uh, if you So tonight, if you purchase a chase or if you get a chase out of a sealed can, you get a free soda kit. 
Yeah, Woodsy Owl is in line. Absolutely. Nice. Card Hunter taking home the El Arachno Common. It's nice to blast out some of these Luchador sodas and move on to other greener pastures for sure. There's quite a few of these tonight. Like I said, I got quite a few of these from Spastic uh, Mystery Boxes, so I figure we'll share the wealth with the community. I'm going to get this next one started, and then I'll catch up on chat. I want to show you the condition of the can. This one has a ding on the side here, very small ding. I'll show you the inside of the can. It has a bubble on the bottom, no ding on top. Let me show you the, the ding on the side from the inside of the can. There it is. You can see the ding right there on the side from the inside. So I'd say near mint on this for sure. There's no crushing or anything like that. But here's the chase, Pog, 2,500 pieces. You have the metallic Iron Man Luchador. And the background for the Pog is yellow. Like I said, I'll catch up on chat as soon as I get this guy started. Let's see what we got in there. I'll show off this one. This chase tonight does come with a free soda kit. So your purchase of this tonight will get you a free SPD soda kit if you want to try it out. I will just include it with your order. I will not put your Pog in the soda kit. I'll leave that up to you. Now, this one has a really nice gold metallic and crimson metallic. There's two different types of red. There's this darker color crimson, I guess, and this lighter color. But the teal blue on his face is also metallic. The lighter skin tone on this one compared to the other luchadors we've been watching tonight. And again, everything full on metallic except for the flesh and this circular part in the middle of the belt. So let me get this guy started. Then we'll catch up with chat. This is the 2,500 piece. Iron Man Luchador Chase. And again, ships with a free SPD soda kit tonight. Let me pull this one up. We'll start this and I'll catch up on chat. All right. One minute, one dollar, no sudden death. You know the drill. Let me. Woodsy Owl, absolutely in queue. Yep, absolutely, Christina Payne. Appreciate you. Hey, BKP. Hips, how's it going? Funko Mania, what's happening? Brian B., welcome, welcome. Carlos, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Star Collectibles, welcome to the show. Yeah, what up? We have the Iron Man Luchador Chase on the turnstile tonight. This is the metallic version of the Luchador Soda, which is very, very cool. The blue definitely pops. Metallic, it's like a teal. And again, this is a 2,500-piece run, and this ships with a free... SPD soda kit, which is a little stand, and it's a little hard stack for your pod, which you could display next to your soda figures. Nice. Next up, I have a Harley Quinn and Woods of the Owl. Nice. Card hunter taking home the add on purchase. Gotta love those add on purchases. If you've made a purchase tonight, grab yourself an SPD soda kit. Check them out. Um, the new shipping the new shipping adjustments have not came into effect, so you get up to four items shipped for one price at the current moment. What is the SPD soda kit? What is it changing to? Um, I don't know. You should if you if you purchase on whatnot, if you have an account on whatnot, you should have an email which should explain everything. Um, if you sell on whatnot, they should have it explained out from a seller's perspective. And I think if you buy on whatnot, you should get it explained out in a buyer's perspective. Nice. The Invicto Iron Man chase going. And um, they should kind of have it explained for you in there. But uh, until that gets changed over, it is the, the same old shipping practices that you are used to from whatnot. So um, I believe it's up to four items you get shipped for one specific price. And I believe every four, every batch of four items you have to pay shipping. Nice. Another soda kit. Guzman, what's happening? Voodoo Tattoo. Welcome, welcome. Next up, we have a Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. This is the can here. Uh, no dents or dings on the side. No bubbles on the bottom. And no dents or dings on the top. So a minty can for Mrs. Harley Quinn. And this is a 10,500 piece. There is the pog. No damage to the pog on either side. Minty, minty, minty. Nice display piece there. 10,500 pieces. 
Margot Robbie, the uh, Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn. Now, this one is also semi-metallic. The gold is metallic on her, all the gold accents. I believe the Chase has a mallet, and I think it's metallic as well. But still a cool figure, if you like Harley Quinn. It says property of the Joker on the back of her jacket, and it says rotten on her cheek. So pretty cool. And then good night on the bat. So we'll set her up there. She stands great. I'll get her started, and then we will catch up with chat here. So, boom. One dollar, one minute. Let me catch up on chat. Three dollar soda kit, you got it. So the soda kit is you get this hard stack for your pog, and you also get this stand, which holds the hard stack for your pog and then you can stand it up in front of your soda just like that you can like display it next to your soda Whoop. but it also protects your pog from when you do drops like that so that you know that it's protected because it's in the little hard stack so yeah for sure don't thank me i didn't create them uh spd soda kits is actually created by this guy bill um who actually has an instagram account if you want to check him out um and if you want to buy from the website you can actually go over there and make a purchase as well um, use code reasonable 20 and save yourself 20%. But next soda auction I do, I'm going to be doing 10 packs and 20 packs of the SPD soda kits for you guys. If you guys want to pick those up, you can, um, they're great add on purchases for your collection. Welcome, Matthew. Welcome, Brian. Welcome, Zaylin. How's it going? Welcome tonight. All chases tonight do ship with a free SPD soda kit. So there's also that way if you got a chase tonight or, I have three sodas that are sealed left. If you get a chase in one of those sealed sodas, you will also get a soda kit for free. Nice. Nick Rowe taking home the Harley Quinn with the bat. In queue, I have a Woodsy Owl and a Donatello. There goes Harley. Stand her back up. All right. Let me put her away. We'll get the Woodsy Owl up, and then I'll catch up on the chat. Very, very nice. Let's get Woodsy Owl up. This one is sealed in the bag. This one has some significant dings on the lid as well. Yeah, it's dings on the bottom. You can see that better through the can. Uh, and dings on the side. I mean, pretty much like every Woodsy Owl that I've seen came dented or dinged up, so... If you got a mint one, hang on to it. So there is the can. With WonderCon 2021 Woodsy Owl. Pog has some dings on the face part. Like I'll catch up on chat as soon as I get this soda rolling. Welcome, everybody. We got some dings on the top of the pog. Bottom of the pog has no dings, but the top definitely has some, some impressions on it. And this is a 6250 run. So a pretty low run on this Woodsy Owl. Chase for this one is a flocked one. This one is sealed in the bag. I have one not sealed over here. I'm going to grab down before I start this so I can show you. All right. Here is Woodsy Owl. This is what he looks like. He is not flocked. You all know him. Lend a hand. Care for the land. Woodsy Owl. Department of Agriculture. Official ad icon. There we go. Him and uh, Smokey Bear. We'll put him back up there. Get this thing pulled up. And let's see what Woodsy Owl will do. And then I'll catch up with chat. So, you guys want something to run? Drop it in chat. I'm going to catch up with chat here in just a second. One minute, one dollar. Let's see it. Miguel, you got it. I'll put Miguel in the queue. He's right after Donatello right now. Uh, soda kit. Yeah, you can see the soda kit. Here, I'll pull out a different one. Here's the Woodsy Chase pog. Um, and it's a... It's a hard stack for your little pog, and it comes with this nice stand, which allows you to slide the hard stack into it, and it allows you to display your pog next to your figure, however you like it. You can display it, uh, and it fits in the can as well, so it's nice to, uh, you know, uh, what's up, Yankee? How's it going? You could put your, uh, like I have my HR Puff and stuff, the Chase. I put the Chase in the soda kit and put the soda kit in the can with the HR puff and stuff. Yeah, it is cool. This guy, um, Bill actually SPD soda kits, the owner of it. 
uh, he came up with it. And I think it's a pretty cool, pretty cool little concept. I like it. I dig it. I use it for every one of my soda pictures on Instagram. So um, if there's a picture of sodas on there now, I've, I've only been using them since I, I've got, you know, those in my possession. So nice. Appreciate you, Ramstone. Thanks for grabbing that. Enjoy it. You're going to enjoy it for sure. And if you get a free soda kit tonight uh, with your chase, I'm not going to put your pog in there. You're going to do that yourself. I'm just going to put the soda kit in with your, um, you know, obviously in with your uh, your order. So it's going good, Yankee. Just chilling. Run through some sodas. Got a few left. I think I'm about uh, two thirds through the auction tonight. So got some sodas tonight. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing some bronze and copper age comics. Nice. Woodsy Owl going home tonight to Funko Mania. Nice pickup there. Sealed Woodsy Owl in the bag. Common. Put that back in the can. Uh, tomorrow we got Bronze Age and Copper Age comic books from the DC publication. Very, very stoked for that. Got a lot of comic auctions coming up probably next week. I'm going to be trying to do an auction every night for comics next week. So this is a Donatello Common soda. Let me get him running, and then I'll catch up on chat. So if there's something you want me to, want me to run or see, just drop it in the chat. When I catch up with it, I will pull it. So... Uh, no dings on the outside, bottom, or top of this can. We have a minty Donatello soda. Here's the pog. 10,500 pieces. Here's the front. And he is sealed in the black bag. So let's get him let's get him running. One minute, one dollar. Let's go. Luchador Thanos. Sorry, you got it. I'll put him up in line. Next, we have Miguel. From Coco, WonderCon. And then after that, I have a Luchador Thanos. You got it. This here. Still got some more. I'm going to toss one of these in there. Let's see if. Put one of these in queue as well. So we have a common Donatello there with a near mint can. Or no, mint can. There's no dents on that one. And the pog is not dented either. So we have three more sealed sodas, a Batgirl and two Iron Man Luchadors, and a convention exclusive Black Widow left. And then we have quite a few commons still in the rotation. Welcome, welcome, Frankie Funko. How's it going, Hassan? Welcome, welcome. Hey, Viv, how's it going? Welcome, welcome, Hogan. Welcome. We have Donatello from the Ninja Turtle line right here. This is the common soda. We have some SPD soda kits left. Let's see how many we have left. Let's see what we got. We have eight left out of the 45 I started with. Very nice. Nice. Taking home the Donatello soda. Again, make multiple purchases tonight. Save yourself some money on shipping. Nice. Funko Mania taking home one of the SPD soda kits. Got just a few left tonight. So grab yourself. Grab yourself some. So we have the Common Miguel. 8,400 pieces. Let's check out the can here. This is a dented can. It's got dents on the side here. Um, bottom looks good. Top looks, it's got a couple dents on the top. So I'd say like near mint on this. Here's the pog. Mint on the pog. 8,400 pieces. Again, there's Miguel. We sold the chase earlier tonight. And here is the common. 8,400 pieces. Again, WonderCon 2021 on this one. And I'm going to do a little bit of an extended one for this one. Uh, because I'm actually going to take a two-minute break. So here is Miguel with his guitar. We sold the hooded Day of the Dead Miguel earlier. So like I said, this is a common, but it's from WonderCon, so uh, check it out. Let's put it up here, Miguel, and we'll do an extended one on this one as well. And then I'll be right back. Let me know if you want me to put something up when I get back in the chat, and I'll catch up with chat in just a second. One minute, or one dollar, three minutes.
Hey everybody, I am back. Let me catch up on chat here. Let's see what we got going on. Thank you, Funko Mania. Those are really cool kits. All right, cool. Uh, next up, we have Thanos Luchador Soda, and then we have a Pale Man from Pan's Labyrinth. Thank you, Force Strong. I appreciate you holding it down while I'm gone. Couldn't do it without you, bro. I have to take these breaks, man, because I'm staying hydrated. Because that last auction, when I lost my voice for a second, can't be having that happen again. Welcome back, Hassan. How you doing? What up, D? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We got Miguel from WonderCon 2021 Coco. Every auction, every time, always stay hydrated. Should make a t-shirt with that. You know what I'm saying? Always stay hydrated. We got Near Mint. Miguel from Coco from WonderCon 2021. This is the unhooded. This is the common version, and this is an 8,400-piece run. We sold the Chase earlier this evening. And we have quite a few commons left. I have three sealed sodas left and one more convention exclusive. Yeah, right? Man, I, don't, no, I don't think my voice ever cracks. That one, though, that when I was dehydrated, that last one was bad. The soda holders. You want to know about soda kits? Here's the soda kit. It is a hard stack for your pog. It allows you to display both sides of it. And it has a little stand here, which holds this as well. Nice. Funko Mania taking home the Miguel from WonderCon. And again, it holds it holds your soda pog so that you can display that. Nice pickup. Next, we have El Terror Pipura, which is the Thanos Luchador soda. I'll show that off as well. Miguel is going back in the can with his pog and his guitar. All right. Moving right along. What else do we got? Thanos Luchador soda. This one is open. All right. There's the pog. Let's check out the can. And then as soon as I get this started, I will catch up on chat. So this is the Thanos Luchador Soda. The side walls of the can look great. No damage. Bottom, no dings or bubbles. Top has no dings or bubbles. So I'd say a mint can on that. Here's the pog. Front and back of the pog look great. No damage or dings to the pog. This is a 12,500 piece common set. And again, we sold... This is the last one of these that I have tonight. So let's check out the common. Here it is. He has the belt around his waist with the infinity stones in it, the gold and purple and black theme, as well as the color scheme. Let's get this one started and let me catch up on chat. Terror Papira. Papira. All right. One minute, one dollar. You know the drill. No sudden death. All right. Let me catch up on chat. Choo -choo -choo. Run the Fawn Common, yes. Fawn Common, definitely. Uh, that was the last chase. Uh, Funko Junko, yes. I have one Batgirl sealed soda and two Iron Man Luchador sealed sodas. Uh, if you get a chase out of the sealed cans, you get a free soda kit. If you bought a chase tonight, you get a free soda kit with your chase purchase. And if you want to add a chase or a soda kit to your order, I just have a few left, just about six left. Let me see how many we have left. Oh, we're sold out. No more. No more soda kits. Sold them all. Black Widow, you got it. Black Widow is in queue. Funko Mania, welcome back. Scooby Doo, welcome, welcome. Welcome back. We'll be popping. What's happening, dude? Right now we're running El Terra Papura Thanos Luchador Common Soda. And on deck right now we have Fawn from Pan's Labyrinth, the Pale Man from Pan's Labyrinth, and then we have Black Widow from Pan's Labyrinth. You want me to run a Iron Man sealed one, Beebs, or do you want an open common? Nice. Necro taking home the Thanos. 
What up, Will? Just chilling, selling some sodas. Open one. You got it. I'll put it in queue. Just chilling. Got some comic books tomorrow night. If you're interested in comics there, Will, stop by tomorrow. Come hang out. Be doing um, bronze and copper age DC books tomorrow night. Very, very dope. And then next week we have a, another Funko collectible auction, which is going to be everything but pops and sodas. So be on the lookout for that. Same place, same time, Thursday night next week. Got thousands of dollars worth of Funko products to sell you guys. Sell and show. This one is minty can. No dings or bubbles on the bottom. Top is not dented or dinged up. And the side is minty fresh. This is a 8,400 piece. We already sold the chase earlier tonight, but this is a common fawn. 8,400 pieces. And then here is what the figure looks like. Let's take it out and check it out. See if there's any paint flaws or anything with it. Looks good. No paint flaws is what I'm noticing. No defects. Looks good. There is the common fawn. Again, the other one was teal for the chase. And this is the common fawn. So let's start this one up and I'll catch up with chat. All right, fawn. $1, one minute. Let me catch up on this. Open. Okay, good. All right, next up we got Pale Man from the Pan's Labyrinth series. Black Widow from WonderCon. And then El Hero and Victor Go open Iron Man soda. I'm going to grab a couple off the table here to run as well. Let's do this one. Throw a Jack Torrance in the mix. Let's throw this Martian Manhunter in the mix. All right. So Beebs taking the fawn common. Nice. Yeah, 8,400 piece on this from Pan's Labyrinth. Again, the common. Seabone, welcome, welcome. Just running through some sodas at the end of the night. We got a fawn common soda. Welcome back, Bill. Welcome back. We are broadcasting on YouTube. Okay, Titus, appreciate you. How you doing? Christina Payne, welcome. Nicole Dorton, how's it going? OB the Kid, welcome, welcome. On YouTube, we are streaming some Warzone with B Cobb. Just call me D, and I think a couple of these rounds I'm actually playing with Sin as well. So if you're on YouTube, appreciate you. I do stream all my auctions live on YouTube. Nice, Chris taking the fawn common with the snipe bit. We got just a few more sodas tonight to go through. Got still have three sealed sodas. If you guys want me to run any of those, please let me know. Jack Torrance is in line. Uh, Nick Rowe, it is got about three ahead of it, and then it will be up. Looks like we got all the soda kits sold tonight, and we got just under 20 sodas left. So very, very cool. Nice. Congratulations. Taking on the fawn. Common. What sealed sodas do I have? I have two Iron Man luchadors and a Batgirl. So if you want me to run any of those, let me know. I'll run it for you. And then I have my last convention pop is in line right now, which is Black Widow. Welcome to Toy Quest. How's it going? All right. Here is what the Force of Strong, I think, was asking for this one. So we got a Pale Man from Pan's Labyrinth with a minty can. And we have a minty pog, 10,500 pieces. Pale Man, 10,500. Not too high, not too low. Kind of in the middle when it comes to runs. And here is the Pale Man, which they took a kind of creepy character and kind of made him look like a Scooby-Doo villain. And that's basically what they do with these horror characters. They kind of look like Scooby-Doo villains because they kind of look cutesy, cutesy horror, cutesy gross, if you would, cutesy horror. I don't know what you call that. But let's get him started up here, and then we will get into the Black Widow next. One minute, one dollar on this one. You did. 
That yep, you did. Uh, the pale man, right, with the eyeballs on the hands. I think that's what the chase is. I think it has eyeballs on the hands. Nice, Mr. Chunky, welcome. So sealed soda wise, I have two of the Iron Man luchadors, and I have a sealed Batgirl. And then also next, we have Black Widow on deck. We have an Iron Man Luchador, Soda, a Jack Torrance, a Martian Manhunter. Like I said, I got a lot of these Luchador ones in Spastic Collectible Soda boxes. So I'm trying to kind of shake loose some of these because they're kind of just building up. I got pretty much three in almost every box that I picked up from them. So Some of them I got four, actually. Which is kind of a lot, but, you know, whatever. It was a it wasn't a very pricey box or case I should say. And I actually did get some of the chases from his boxes as well. So let's put that back in there. We're gonna get Black Widow up next. And then if there's something you guys want to see, let me know. There's a little tag in the bottom right corner. Just click that tag, see what I have left. If there's something you guys want me to run, let me know and I'll put it on deck. So that we can run it. Next, we have Black Widow from WonderCon 2021. Whoops. Where's that? There it is. Um, checking the can over. I'm not seeing any dings on the outside. Looks like there is a ding on the bottom of the can. There is a ding on the top of the can. So dings on top, dings on bottom. Not mint. Uh, Pog has a ding on the face. Minty on the back. 12,500 pieces on this. And this one is sealed in the bag. She's sealed in the bag. So, yeah. Just uh, right here on the side. All right. Black Widow. Let's start her off at a dollar for one minute. One dollar. Slee stack. Yeah, right. Uh, no. Well, Labyrinth. What do you mean? Pan's Labyrinth? We got... We got Pale Man. Are you talking about? Welcome back. Welcome back. Slee Stack. Slee Stack in queue. <laughs> there was a Slee Stack in this auction, Force and Strong. I would just do the Slee Stack in the auction and call it a day. <laughs> I wouldn't put any of these other these other sodas in there diluting the auction. I would just do the auction for the one the one soda. When you have a soda like that that's worth over $500, if you have a soda that's worth multiple hundreds of dollars, you could literally just do one auction just for that one soda so it's dedicated. Well, here you go. This is the common right here. I don't know, man. I'm not a fan of Labyrinth. It's you know, not something I grew up with. I was watching Masters of the Universe and G.I. Joes and stuff and Power Rangers and all kinds of other cartoons, DuckTales. I didn't really watch too much Labyrinth. Yeah, I want to grab a, a seal uh, sleeve stack. That'd be dope. They're like one hundred and eighty dollars. I want actually just want the common. I don't really. Even, I mean, the, the gold chase is cool. But I'm not really even looking for that. Nice Black Widow WonderCon going home to spring it. Very very nice pickup there. Like I said, next next auction I do with sodas will probably be in July, and we'll probably have a lot more sodas because uh, it's going to be about a, you know a month and a half, two month layover for that auction to take place and then uh, I'll have more soda kits for the next one for sure because it looks like I, I almost underbought for this auction I could have pride more more in there this is the can right here it is a mint can the bottom has a little bit of a bubble and the lid is mint so I'd say near mint for the whole can just because that little bubble on the bottom is not cool but it is a 12,500 piece here is the luchador pog and I'll put the figure up as well. We did sell the chase of this one tonight, which I pulled out of a spastic. Or yes, we'll pull out a spastic box. I think I pulled out a spastic box. Here is the luchador. So put him right there on the turnstile. I'll get this started, and then I'll catch up on chat. Yeah. Donatello, yep, you got it. 
put him in Q, and then you said Thanos. Ooh, Thanos is heavy. I didn't realize how heavy he was. Maybe I'm just grabbing all these light sodas all night. He is heavy. Wow. He's got some He's got some weight. Huh. He weighs just as much as Vampire Jack, it feels like. Holy. No, he's, he actually weighs more, it feels like. He feels heavier than Vampire Jack. He is thick, dude. He's thick. He's a beefy boy. Solid vinyl. So I got three sodas that are sealed left. If you guys want me to run those, let me know. Two Iron Man and one Batgirl. Welcome back, all in your mouth, Dams. How's it going? Nice. We got the Iron Man Luchador soda right now on the turnstile. And this is the common non-metallic, but still a cool Luchador soda. And like I said, I'll be back again tomorrow night with some DC Bronze Age and Copper Age books. So same place, same time, 8 o'clock. That's like the time slot I've been sticking to. My auctions is 8 o'clock Mountain Time, 10 p.m. Eastern. Nice. Squash Collectibles, welcome, welcome. We got Iron Man Luchador going home to all in your mouth. Congratulations on the great pickup with that for sure. I think it'd be cool if somebody had like a little mini wrestling ring and somebody put like all these luchadors in the ring and took a nice photo of them. I think that'd be pretty dope. I'm just not too big into wrestling, so I don't have any mini rings or anything like that, but that would definitely be cool. If somebody had all at least one of each of the luchadors to do that with. Next we have Jack Torrance. And after that we have Martian Manhunter. We have Donatello, Thanos, another pale man. And then I'm actually going to grab one of these sodas. I'll grab one of these sealed Iron Man ones, and we'll toss that in line, too. All right, so this is a sealed Jack Torrance. He's in the black bag. Pog is mint, and it's a 10,500 piece. There is Jack. Here is what he looks like on the can. Here's what he looks like on the can. Uh, there are some dings here on the side, which I'll show you the inside of the can so you can see the dings from the inside. There is a dent on the bottom of the can, and the top is mint. So I'd say probably like near mint on this to accept uh, acceptable maybe because the dents on the can are kind of like in a pattern. But the figure should be mint because he's sealed in there. So we're going to put that up there. I'm going to get him started, and then I'll catch up with chat. One dollar. Oh, sick, dude. Did you do that on YouTube or Instagram or anything? OB, did you do that uh, somewhere where I could check it out? Love to see that. That'd be dope. Squatch, welcome back. Yeah, dude. Definitely. I'll check that out for sure. I'd love to see that. No, no worries, dude. No worries, man. We have a common Jack Torrance right now with a, I wouldn't say near mint, I would say near, near mint acceptable. Like, a, you know, hard seven. Hard seven out of ten, let's say that. Hard seven on the Jack Torrance can. Like I said, the Woodsies tonight were probably, I'd say the Woodsy, the Owl cans were probably the ones that got got the most work over. I don't know why Woodsy was so bad. It's all the points on them. I don't know. But I don't I don't think there was one Woodsy can that me or any of my friends pulled that were not damaged. Even even the ones in my collection with the chase and everything, they're all they have dings on them too. So Woodsy just looked like it took took a beating. Just took a beating, you know what I mean? That right there. It's getting stuck. There goes the fog. Carlos taking home the Jack Torrance. Common of what? 10,500? 10,500 pieces. Very nice. With a snipe, snipe. Next up we got is Martian Manhunter. Pale Man, a Donatello, a Thanos, and then a sealed Iron Man soda. 
You know, sodas for days tonight. Luchadors for days. Luchadors for days. And then this is one of each of these luchadors. Nice. Taking home the Jack Torrance in the black bag tonight. Pop the hog in there. All right. There's Jack. Martian Manhunter. This is a common. Let's check out the can. The can looks good. No dings on the can. Bottom looks good. Top looks good. Minty can. Martian Manhunter, 8,400 pieces. We sold the Chase earlier. There's the Common Pog. And let's check out the Common. The Chase was Glow Metallic. And the Common is just classic Martian Manhunter from DC Comics. Very cool pickup. Let's get this loaded up here. One minute, one dollar. You know the drill. Let me check out some of the chat here. Yes, common slee stacks like sitting at 75, but good luck getting it for that. They're like sitting between 80 and 100 on eBay. Uh, seller 24, what do you mean? Auctioning a random or a chase? What do you mean? Uh, are you asking about slee stack? Who is that? What chase? Oh, the chase has already been sold tonight. Uh, yeah, the Chase Soda for Martian Manhunter already got sold. This is the common. I had the Chase. I sold the Chase earlier. Yeah, all the Chases are gone, dude. Sorry. I sold all the Chases tonight. I still have two sealed sodas left. We got a Iron Man, Luchador, and a Batgirl. And if you pull a Chase in one of those cans, I'll ship you a free soda kit. And all chases tonight's shipped with a free soda kit, so pretty freaking cool. Sold all of our soda kits tonight. Carlos taking home Martian Manhunter. Nice pickup on that soda. Next one we got up is a Pale Man, then Donatello, and then Thanos from the MCU. And then I have a sealed Iron Man soda on deck. And if there's something that you guys want me to put. On deck, or if you want me to show you something, just let me know down in the chat. That's all you gotta do. This is a another mint pale man, which I got from Spastic Collectibles. Minty can. Bottom has a little bit of a bubble. Top is good, so I'd say near mint for the can total. Ten thousand five hundred pieces. Pog is mint. There's the front. There's the back. Ten thousand five hundred. Let's show you the figure. Here's the figure right here. Kind of looks like a Scooby-Doo villain. That is the Pale Man from Pan's Labyrinth. There's the front and there's the back. Let me get him started and then we'll catch up on some of the chat. Um, all right, start. Yeah, right? Uh, Superman 1 is sold. Superman is gone tonight. Let me grab this fawn. Then I'll grab this Hulk one. We'll do the Hulk one. Yeah, right? He's got that milkshake that brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. We got some steals and deals tonight on some luchador sodas and some horror ones. You should. You should. Just turn turn them turn them turn them ass out. And next up is Donatello Thanos. We have a sealed Iron Man soda we're gonna put up. We have a fawn from Pan's Labyrinth as well. Same series. And then a El Furioso, which is the Hulk Luchador soda next. Sealed ones. Nice. So which sealed one would you like? Choose one. 
Necro. We have a Batgirl and a Iron Man Luchador. Nice. Taking the Pale Man. Ass out for the win. I like it. So just let me know in the chat there, uh, Necro, which one you want. Any more Chucky? Chucky is gone. We sold Chucky. Ray's King, welcome back. Um, and Necro, if you let me know which one of those sealed ones you want, I'll put it in there. Uh, Fawn is in line right now. We got Donatello up next. Thanos, sealed soda, and then uh, then Fawn, I believe, is the, the order of this. So this is another Donatello that is in the bag. And the can is, uh, it said near mint. It's got a ding here on the side by the O. And I'll show you from the inside the ding. Minty top, minty bottom. So I'd say near mint on this can. Because you can see the dings on the inside. See the dings on the inside of the can. It's hard to show them on the outside with the paint. But if I could show you a view from the inside of the can, you could really get a, a view of what the damage is. Because I want to be transparent with some of this stuff. Because it does matter. I mean, if the pog's got dings or dents on it, I want to let you know. But this pog is mint. And this is 10,500 pieces on this Donatello one. And he is sealed in the black bag. Let me get him started, and then I'll catch up on chat. And this is my last Donatello for the evening. No, oh, sorry, Seller24. How do, I, how do I display my sodas? So when I do Instagram photos, I display them using the soda kits, which allows me to display the pog next to the figure. But for the most part, I just light up all my soda figures next to each other. And then the cans, I store them separately. And then all the pogs, I store inside of a trapper keeper with some coin sleeves. And then I kind of keep them in a binder, if you would. So I keep them in three separate spots. Um, I don't put all three of the items together. I wish I had an ability to display like that. But, I mean, I'm, I'm pushing almost, you know, 100 sodas. So I can't be, like, displaying all the pogs and the sodas and the cans. It's just a lot of stuff. Batgirl, you got it. Uh, the only soda that's in a soda can that I have in my collection is my HR Puffin stuff, Chase. I keep that in the can. I keep the Pog in the SPD soda kit, and I keep the kit in the can with the with the figure. That's the only one I keep in the can. Like if I had a sleeve stack, I mean, if you're in the, the 300 club or whatever, like if you're in that club with the can of soda, you probably should maybe not take it out of the, out of the can. <laughs> <laughs> that's just me personally that's just me personally i don't know uh, i feel very weird displaying a, a pop or a, a soda that was like you know over 500 dollars. yeah for sure that's at least that, that's a whole different club that's like a 250 club that's a different club you know what i'm saying the sleaze stack club is the lowest club in town <laughs> it's the lowest club in town for sure so all right so on deck, we got Thanos next, Iron Man Sealed Soda, Fawn from Pan's Labyrinth, Hulk, Luchador, Sealed, Batgirl, and then I have just a few more sodas after that. Is it 1,500? Only 1,500. So it's 1,500 pieces then. So it's a 2,000 club, then that's a 1,500 piece then. That's a lot. That's a lot, but it's a little. It's a large run, but it's a little. Killaholic taking home a Donatello. Very nice pickup tonight. Yeah, my puffin stuff is a 2,000 piece set. But again, I have to chase on that one. So that one is uh, saves me All right, we got Thanos. This one is. See near mint on the can. There's a ding here on the side, which I'll show you from the inside. There's some dings here. Uh, I'd say acceptable for the can. It's got a ding here on the top lid on the corner. It's got a huge dent on the bottom. Yeah, acceptable for this can. I wouldn't say this is near mint, but you can see those dents and dings from the inside there along the edges and the sides. So I'd say acceptable on this can, Thanos. And this is a 16,700 piece run. Pog is not damaged. 16,700 pieces. And I will catch up with chat as soon as I get this guy started. And here is the common, which is what this is. The common Thanos with helmet. The chase was without helmet. And this one is sealed in the bag, which I'm not going to cut it open for you, but it's, it's in the bag. So 
Um, I'm going to put this one on the turnstile, get him started, and let me catch up with chat. Start auction, $1, one minute. Uh, that is Blacklight Carnage from the Marvel Blacklight wave right there. Oh, the commons, 1,500 pieces. Yeah, there you go. 500 club, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Kill the Hulk. Welcome, welcome. Uh, sodas. I get them from Spastic Collectibles. I buy them on Whatnot. Um, I've been picking them up off Deep Discount. Um, I've been grabbing them through Funko. Pretty much anyone who's been selling them, I've been trying to scoop them up because they pretty much sell out everywhere. But primary spots, I mean, check out Spastic Collectibles. He puts them up pretty much as soon as they get released uh, for pre-order. Um, he sells them by the case, which I like. I like buying them by the case because you kind of can hedge your stuff. But I'm picking up a lot of cases from other places. Nice. Thanos going to a new home. I'll be the kid. Taking home Mr. Thanos tonight with helmet. Very, very cool soda. With a dented can. Next, we have a sealed soda. But honestly, I get most of my sodas from Whatnot. I've been buying a lot of singles from Whatnot. But I guess if you're looking for bulk stuff, go check out Spastic Collectibles. He's got a uh, he's got a good a good hold on getting pretty much any soda that drops. And if you just buy it when he drops it, uh, then you can pretty much secure yourself one. I mean, a lot of people are canceling orders right now, and I've never heard of anyone getting their order canceled from Spastic. So go check them out if you're interested. And grabbing some sodas and just watch his page, you know, just, I mean, refresh it pretty much, you know, often. And you should be able to scoop up the sodas you need. Like I pre-ordered a case of the Rat Finks through Spastic and I'm excited to get that for sure. Because this guarantees me a chase. I don't have to chase the chase. All right. So we have a sealed Iron Man right here. And this one is... Let's check out the can. We have a minty can here. No ding on the bottom, no dent, no bubbles, no ding or dents on the top. So we have a minty Iron Man sealed here. If you wanna, if you want me to tear this open, if after you win it, I'll do that for you. And if you pull a chase, I will toss in a free soda kit. So all chases tonight ship with a free soda kit. And let me put this on the bottom for myself. Yeah, of course. No worries. It's hard sometimes to track down sodas. I'll be 100% honest with you. I've never seen a soda in a retailer store before. I've never walked in somewhere that sells Funko stuff and saw sodas. I mean, honestly, I'd probably buy a Pale Man off the shelf if I just saw a soda in a retailer just to buy one in, in person. So I think that'd be dope to find some of those sodas out in the wild, if you would. Carried, welcome, welcome, Card Hunter. Welcome back. We got a sealed Iron Man soda right now. I have a sealed Batgirl on deck. And then I have one more one more sealed soda left for the evening. And then we have just a few more sodas left. Speaking of that, let me get the queue going here. Let me load up some of these in the queue. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. How's everybody doing tonight? We have a Iron Man sealed soda on the turnstile right now. And this one is going mint. Mint can. No dings, no dents. Don't mind the painter's tape. That'll get peeled off before it gets shipped to you. That's just for me. Nice. Lopez and Army taking the sealed soda. If you want me to rip that, let me know. I'll get the other one queued up. And I'll put it to the side for now. This is a Fawn Pan's Labyrinth soda. Let me, let me pop this one up and we'll catch up on chat. Let's see if there's anything in there. So again, the can has a little bit of a scrape on the front here. So not mint. I'd say probably near mint. It's got a little ding on the top. Not too crazy. Let's say like near mint on that. And that is an 8,400 piece run on the Fawn from Pan's Labyrinth. This is the fawn. Very cool, right? I dig the uh, 
the weathered look that they did. It did a rub on it, and all the grooves of this figure got that like weathered look to it, which looks really cool. Almost looks like knotty wood, which is dope. So let's put that over here. Let me that on top. All right, let me get Fawn started. Start it. All right, we got Fawn from Pan's Labyrinth. This is the last one I got for the evening. We ran the chase earlier, sold the chase, sold a couple commons. But if it's something you need for your collection, scoop it up. Get that steal and deal. Last Fawn for the evening. Next up, we have a Hulk Luchador Soda, a sealed Batgirl, a Pale Man, and another Iron Man Luchador. And then I'm going to move this... Uh, Let's do the Spider-Man. We'll do the Spider-Man Luchador Soda after that Iron Man one. And we're rolling down to the last 10 sodas for the evening. I still have one more sealed Iron Man Luchador and Batgirl coming up. So stay tuned for that. And anybody who pulls a chase out of a sealed soda night gets a free soda kit. Anybody who bought a chase gets a soda kit as well for free. So you just know that. Right now we have Fawn on the turnstile. This is the last fawn, brother man. Sorry, Force Strong. This is the last one for the evening. So if you want it, you better snatch it up. There it is. Look at that. There it is. Again, we got a fawn from Pan's Labyrinth. This is an 8,400 piece run on this soda. And there is the figure. There's the booty. And there's the front. Oh, no worries, Force is Strong. You good, man. You good, dude. And next up, like I said, we have a Hulk Luchador, a sealed Batgirl soda, and a Pale Man, a Iron Man Luchador, and a Spider Man Luchador. This one is cool. The common one is cool on this one. I totally agree. And the blue one is just a different one. It's just blue. It's just it's like a different figure almost. So Force is Strong taking home Fawn from Pan's Labyrinth. Appreciate everybody tonight who is sticking with me. Just rolled over the three-hour mark. So we have been doing some work tonight. Selling some sodas and selling some soda kits. We got every soda kit tonight sold. Next one we got is the common Hulk Luchador Soda. And this one is sealed in the bag. Pop that on there. The can itself is mint. Bottom mint, top mint. So minty can on that. 12,500 pieces on the Hulk Luchador. And that one is sealed in this black bag as well. So some of these Luchadors, we've gotten so many of them that um, just some of them are not opened. Pop that one. One dollar, one minute. Nice. Yeah, good pickup there, Force is Strong. Very nice. I will carried. I will have 10 packs, 20 packs, and individuals um, available as well. Um, I might just even also have some available um, just through whatnot. Just have them just up for buy it now or something. So, um, what up, MC Wig Splitter? What's happening? Yeah, they are cool. They're definitely awesome, and I, I kind of wish I grabbed more of them. Um, I just didn't know how they were going to be reactive as add-on purchases for people, but we sold out. So, yeah, dude, straight up. I mean, like all of the ones that you see on the table here, these, some of these are my Chase Pogs. I mean, I trust my Chase Pogs with and even my Chase, Chase Shredder Pog. I mean, Chase Woodsy. I trust all my Chase Pogs with these soda kits. So, I mean my rocketeer one i know it's not a chase but it might as well be because that one's fire so hey tyler how's it going welcome back welcome Kilaholic. how's it going so yeah we did sell through all of our soda kits tonight which is nice so next up we have a sealed bat girl i have a pale man from pan's labyrinth we have a iron man luchador soda spider-man luchador soda and then i have one more sealed iron man as well 
which we're going to put up in the line. The soda, anything. Yeah, soda, pretty much anything will sell right now. I mean, there's people just buying stuff just to buy them now at this point. Uh, when it comes to, like, pre-orders and stuff, like, I'll see pre-orders sell out for characters that I'm like, were you even alive when this character was popular? <laughs> nice. Taking home the Hulk Luchador Soda. Next up, we have a sealed Batgirl. This is my last sealed Batgirl for the night. And I have one more sealed Iron Man. If you win this soda and you want me to open it and rip it, let me know. No ding on the bottom, no dings on the side, no ding on the top. Let me get that painter's tape off, put that on the bottom. There is the sealed Batgirl soda. My last one for the night, and I have one more sealed Iron Man luchador. Start out at $1. You got it. Thicker, if, we, if you get it, I'll rip it for you. Yeah, dude, the sleeve stack one would definitely go in one because the HR Puffin stuff went in one. Yeah, I love sodas too. They're great. They're a nice new Funko product. Yeah, I mean, I be honest with you, Lost in Space was before my generation as well. So, so is HR Puff and stuff. Uh, pre orders for pretty much any soda is selling out. I agree. Yeah, I mean, pretty much any, any, any character that drops, they sell out, even the Luchador ones. So. Again, we got a sealed Batgirl tonight. Um, this one, like I said, was a minty can. Oh, we had a little ding on top. little ding on the top. But other than that, the can has no dings on the side or bottom, just a ding on the top. But sealed again. Yes, he is from Land of the Lost. Nika525, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yep, Land of the Lost. Like I said, before my time, Land of the Lost, I didn't watch that growing up. Um, so, but I'm sure, you know, a couple generations before me would know exactly uh, all about Land of the Lost. So, Carlos taking home the sealed Batgirl soda. Very nice. Ooh, with a snipe. Yeah, check it out. They, the gold sleeve stack, I believe, has red eyes, which is kind of cool. Uh, and then the common one just looks like the one from the show. Yeah, Gilligan's Island would be a good soda adaptation good call that one force is strong i dig it i dig it it would fit with the soda aesthetic for sure because like yeah definitely carlos getting the bat girl sealed soda i'll put that off to the side if you want me to rip that you can decide no pressure on that i'll get the other one queued up next and then i'll check the chat so this one is a pale man and pan's labyrinth this is i have two left for the evening this is a minty can, top and bottom minty. He is still in his bag, sealed. So no booty flashing for you on this one. And he is a 10,500 piece for this. Let me get this queued up, and then we will check out the chat. Rip it. You got it, Carlos. As soon as I finish this Pale Man, we will rip the Batgirl for you. And then we're down to the last five sodas after this one, everybody. And we still have a sealed soda left. I have a sealed Iron Man. Which we will run here in a couple. OBE the kid taking home the Pale Man in the sealed bag. Uh, one more Pale Man after this. One more Pale Man. But again, grab yourself, guys, some uh, some really great pickups tonight. Nice. And next up, we have a Iron Man Luchador soda. We have a Spider-Man Luchador soda. We have a sealed Iron Man Luchador soda. And then, nice. Thanks, Force Strong. Appreciate you. OBE taking home the Pale Man sealed in the bag. Nice pickup, dude. All right. Let me pull that to the side. Next one we got is another Iron Man Luch. Oh, wait. Let's do the Batgirl. That's right. I'm going to be ripped the Batgirl. Here's the Batgirl. Now, what I'm going to do is just peel the top just so I can, like, get the... It's better to bust it from this seam. So I can just get the lid off for you. 
common bat girl. So I'll just put that back in there for you and I'll leave the, the wrapping on. I'll let you rip it all off. I'll just slide that lid right back on there. Nice. All right. What do we do next? Iron Man Luchador. <laughs> yeah, nice grab for sure. All right. Iron Man Luchador Soda. We have a minty can here. A little bit of a ding on the top there, so it's in your mint. You can barely see it, but there's a little bit of a ding on there. Minty Pog, 12,500 pieces. And this one is sealed in the bag. So he's sealed in the bag. Iron Man Luchador. That one wasn't even opened. One dollar, one minute. Let's see it. <laughs> Don't go with my wallet, Iron Friends. Yeah, for sure. Nice, dude. Black and white thing pop. You mean the uh, Gemini Collectibles exclusive? What do you mean black and white thing pop? Yeah, they're way too friendly. Holy crap. How'd you get that for $3? That's crazy, dude. Great pickup, dude. That's Wow. Whoa, dude, that is crazy. That is crazy to grab that at a yard sale. Even if, even if it wasn't real, it'd still be a good pickup. Like if it was fake or something, that would still be a good pickup, bro. But if that's real, that's awesome, dude. Congratulations. That is a score. <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. Bust out, bust out the hidden grails. Let's get them. Bust out the hidden grails. Let's get them. All right. Iron Man Luchador Soda with the snipe. There we go. Let's get some sniping going on. Some sniping going on. Welcome, PKM Collective. How you doing? Carried, welcome back. What's up, Yvonne? How you doing? Or Yanni? Nice. Iron Man Luchador Soda. Like I said, this will probably be the last auction that I have Luchador Sodas in. You shouldn't see any more of these Luchadors. That one is back here. Let me put this over here. Next one we got is Spider-Man Luchador. Actually, you know what? Let's run this last Iron Man sealed can so this is a sealed iron man luchador soda let me pop this tape off i'll put this on the bottom for myself so no ding on the bottom no ding on the can no ding on the top sealed iron man soda mm, boom start that auction nice Hail man. Let's see here. Invicto, Arachno, and Pale Man. All right. Dope. How's everybody doing tonight? Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. We're running down the last few sodas for the evening. As I am now putting some of these sodas aside. Everybody who bought soda kits tonight, your soda kits will ship with your soda. And you can put the kits on your sodas yourself. Let you guys handle all that. And I'll put this one on the top. That's a sealed soda. Right now we have Iron Man sealed can. You pull a chase out of the can, I'll give you a free soda kit. And all chases tonight ship with a free SPD soda kit. So just know that. And this is a Iron Man Luchador sealed can of soda. It's my last sealed can for the night. If you win this can, you want me to rip it, let me know. I'll rip it. And if you want it sealed, you don't have to say anything. It'll just get shipped to you sealed. 
Nice, Kerry. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'll be back again tomorrow night for another auction. I'll be doing uh, Bronze Age and Copper Age comics tomorrow night. If you want to check those out, it's going to be all DC tomorrow. And uh, Monday, I'll be back again with another Marvel comic auction. The next Thursday, Funko Collectible auction. So a lot of stuff on the on the on the horizon. Nice. Obi the kid taking the Iron Man Luchador soda. I'll put this over to the side. If you want me to rip it, let me know. Keep it sealed. You got it. You got it. Let me put that on top. All right. We have Spider-Man El Arachno. Uh, it's just El Arachno. El Arachno. Side of the cans look good. Bottom looks minty. Top looks minty. Minty can. This is a 12,500 piece common run. Spider-Man as Luchador. Or, or I should say Luchador Spider-Man. Because he's not actually Peter Parker. He's just a Luchador guy wearing Spider-Man outfit. But the belt is definitely Spider-Man-esque. So are the knee pads. And he's got that coloration as well. Let me start this up and I'll catch up on chat. El Arachno, Common Soda, one minute, one dollar. Yeah, Force of Strong, appreciate you, man. I like you always coming by, checking out my auctions, chilling. We show some cool stuff in the soda auctions. So a lot of sodas tonight. A lot of sodas tonight. Very, very nice. Very nice, very, very nice. Very, very nice. I think we sold probably about 75 sodas tonight so far. So I appreciate everybody who came by tonight. Thank you so much, Kerry. Appreciate you. Yeah, man. Vibing for sure, dude. Vibing with that carnage. <laughs> Nicro taking the snipe on the Spider-Man Luchador soda. Very, very cool. And it's my first soda auction, so hopefully I was transparent with everybody tonight. I tried to show you guys the condition of the can, grade that for you, show the condition of the pog, and also the condition of the soda. Necro, very, very, very nice pickup on that. So hopefully you guys, like I said, transparency is key, especially when you're selling stuff to other collectors, because I like transparency, so... Let me put that back in the can. We'll get the next one queued up, and then I will catch up on chat. We have two sodas left for the evening. And this one is my last Pale Man. And I don't think you'll see one of these again in one of my auctions, because I think the wave of Pale Man sodas are no longer able to be purchased. So we have a can that is minty on the sides, minty on the top. And we have a little ding on the bottom in the middle. See that little ding down there? So let's say near mint on the can. 10,500 pieces for the Pale Man. Pog is not damaged. Whoops. On either side until I drop it, of course. Nope. Still minty on both sides. 10,500 pieces again. And this one is unsealed. We got Nudie Pale Man with the booty. Nudie with the booty. So there you go. Like I said, he looked kind of like a Scooby-Doo character because in the movie he probably was pretty scary looking. But they made him look cutesy, you know, Scooby-Doo character style. You know, he's in a Scooby-Doo movie. One dollar, one minute. Let's see what we got here. Mm. Yeah, it's probably one of my favorites right there is that Blacklight Hulk. I love that pop. Oh, jeez. Oh, I hate hearing about that. That sucks. The spine on the um, on the pale man, you mean? I don't know. Yeah, it's a little creepy. He's got he's got a little creepy, but like I said, they made him look cutesy, so he kind of looks like a Scooby Doo villain. You know what I'm saying? He kind of looks like a Scooby Doo villain. He's not very not very scary. I mean, even the horror ones, like, aren't scary. Like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I mean, Leatherface looks like he's, like, ready to go jump in a Scooby-Doo show. I have not seen Pan's Labyrinth, no. I have not. I have not. Probably, yeah, probably should see that. He does, yeah. Whole body. <laughs> whole body is drippy. <laughs> whole body is dripping. 
I'll have to check it out. I'll have to check it out. I mean, the uh, they made these they made these sodas first. So I mean, they must have some kind of cultural significance because I mean, Funko did you know choose to make this one first over other horror characters that they could have done. Nice pickup there, Force of Strong. Let me get this back in the can here. And then we'll pull up our last soda for the evening. Thank you, everybody, who stopped by tonight. I appreciate you so much for coming by tonight. Anybody who made a purchase of a soda kit, it will ship with your sodas or whatever you purchased. Or if you just bought soda or just saw, bought soda kits, then you'll just get the soda kits. And last one for the night. Last Iron Man for the night. You're never going to see an Iron Man luchador soda on this auction again. These are the last of them. Put them all in one auction. This one has a bit of a ding here above the little label. Nothing too crazy. Bottom is mint. Top is mint. And like I said, you can see in the can, the side of the sodas look great. So it's a near mint on that. And again, the Pog, 12,500 pieces. The Pog itself is mint, no damage. Iron Man Luchador, 12,500 pieces. Let's pull the figure out. And this one is a common. We sold the chase earlier. There's the common right there, which I got from Spasta Collectibles. So very cool on that. Again, there's a the coloration there. I'll show you that. More of a lighter skin tone tonight than the other luchadors that we had. But let's run him. One dollar, one minute. Let's go get him. Thank you so much, everybody who stopped by tonight. Yeah, right. What up, Pack Fresh? What's happening? We are running our last soda tonight. We have the Iron Man Luchador soda. We sold just about 75 sodas tonight and a bunch of soda kits. So awesome. Thank you so much to everybody who made a purchase tonight. Everybody who bought a soda kit. I was taking a little chance, trying something new, a new add on product for my auction, and it worked out pretty good. We got rid of all of them. Soda kit is. This little stand with this pog holder, it's a hard stack for your pog. It allows you to display your pog next to your soda and protect it. And I will have some more for my next soda auction. So MB209, if you check them out if you want. In the next auction. Nice. Nico taking home the last Iron Man for the evening. Appreciate you. I'll buy more kits next time. Absolutely. I'll do. I'll, I'll try to do 10 and 20, I think. Those are probably good numbers. If you have any other suggestions, though, um, let me know if there's like a number size that you guys are interested in me having on there. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. And if you guys have any questions tonight while I package up this last soda, drop them in the chat. Thank you so much, OB. Appreciate you now. Toss in some channel swag. Some channel swag. And um, I actually have some pretty good candies this auction. You guys are going to get some of these strawberry ones. What you got, Force of Strong? Hit me up with it. Everything's going to ship tomorrow, too, everybody. I don't know. I have no idea. Do you know it? You have to tell me, though, Force of Strong. Yeah, for sure. No worries. No worries. Like I said, everything's going to ship tomorrow for you guys. Any question? Yeah, that's what I said. I don't know. I don't. I have no idea. I'm, I'm, you stumped me, dude. Spanky, you're stumping me, man. You're stumping me here. But this was a killer auction, everybody. I appreciate you guys for stopping by tonight. Uh, thanks so much, to everybody. If you got any final questions, let me know. There's my metallic custom Sonic the Hedgehog. Let me show him off before we, before we dip out. This was a custom that I made with the Sonic the Hedgehog. They did a flocked one for the chase, and the common one. Just looks too common. We needed a metallic one for the Sonic the Hedgehog line. I'm going to do a supersonic one too. So that's coming down the line. But uh, the Sonic one, it was, it was fun to make. I was to say that. So no worries. All right. Had fun. Everybody, appreciate you so much. I'm going to end this off. Got any questions? Drop them here in the chat. If you have any questions after the, the uh, auction, hit me up on Instagram, The Reasonable Gentleman. Appreciate you so much. Mahalo. Have a great night, everybody. All right, we'll shut that off.